Guess the secret's out, huh? Tried to lock my preview so I could go get set everything set up, but uh, that didn't happen. I guess you just can't do that. That's pretty annoying, actually. Um, yeah, let me just get everything set up real quick. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think this is fine. Oh, now I understand what lock preview does. It means that I can't change anything on the fly. Got it. That's actually pretty good to know. Pretty good to know. Okay, I do believe we left off on 252 last time. Let me double check that real quick. If I can find what I'm looking for. This one. Whoops. Okay, good, it's muted. Yes, we ended at 252. Good, 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 good. Great. What the hell is going on here? What am I looking at right now? Okay. Minimize all that stuff. Hey, bro, what you doing? Hey, John, how's it going? I am getting everything set up because we have... A green apple to hunt today. We got shiny applet. We left off on the previous stream. Well, not like last stream, but the, the previous time that we were hunting applet, we left off on 252. Um, I originally wasn't going to stream today, but uh, I got on. Uh, I checked my switch today during lunch and I noticed every single area in the wild area is a thunderstorm and I forgot I totally forgot the first of every month is a different um is a different like weather effect that affects every region and it just so happens that on the first of November it's all thunderstorms so, it just so happens to be that both Applin and um, Toxel that I need for these shiny hunts, for the, the shiny hunts based off of the Shining Fates. Let me get the cards real quick. Just so happens that both of the Pokemon I need for this shiny hunt need thunderstorms. I think this is the right pile of cards. I think so. I don't even know where to put everything anymore. Yeah, here it is. Remember the Flapple, Toxtricity, and um, Arctazolt? Arctazolt we don't need um, any wild encounters for a hunt. But both Applin and Toxel need thunderstorms, and I just so happen to have the one day where everywhere is a thunderstorm. <laughs> I don't like stream this kind of mid. This is streamers where it's at. Are you just gonna keep talking shit on the other person whenever you're in somebody else's stream? So if Lemon starts streaming, who are you who are you gonna start talking talking shit on, huh? Any ideas what we guessed for these and what no, I have no idea. I do not remember what you guys guessed. You'll have to make new guesses. Um since we're starting at 252, 300 is the next 
um, is the next like marker for us to get a bump in encounters or not encounters, but bump in shiny chances. So, yeah, since we have thunderstorms everywhere in the wild area today, I figured I'd go in here. We do a couple Applin encounters. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, but then again, it could also take forever. Um, we could still not even get Applin during the shiny hunt today. But I figured I'd give it a shot, because if we got it early, then I could just move on to Toxel like immediately and I wouldn't have to like end stream soon or anything like that. So that's kind of like where my headspace is at. Let me just make some adjustments. I think that's good. <clears throat> what are the shiny odds typically? So uh, without any kind of a shiny boost, without the shiny charm or anything like that, the rates are... This is... Yeah. Um... It's about 1 in 4,096, I think. And then once you have the shiny charm, it gets lowered to like 1 in 2,000 some odd. Um, when we hit 300 encounters, our shiny rate should be about 1 in 580 something. Let me, let me actually bring up all the stats. Pokemon, sword, shiny, odds. No. Well, this is why, this is why you put the good cases on the cards, huh? I dropped him. No, oh, this is increasing. Increasing. I don't care about that. I just want... I just want, like, a table that tells me all of the odds. That's all I want. I'm not going to get that, am I? I'm not going to get that. I should just make my own table. That way I don't have to rely on anything. Okay. So this... What? No way. This can't be right. Whoops, I, I didn't mean to battle the gloom. There's no way this is correct. You and Alec are tied together, so if Lemons is streaming, I'll talk mad s smack on myself because I have streamed before. That's true, you have. You can say with 100% certainty that you have streamed before. So this table that I'm looking at here says with one Pokemon, with just one Pokemon battled, no shiny charm is one in 2048. Shiny charm is one in 1024. I feel like that's a bit low though. Shiny Pokemon have a staple in Pokemon ever since Gold and Silver, blah, blah, blah. Um, rate is the same as it's been since Pokemon X and Y, with it being 1 in 4,096 as standard. If you have the Shiny Charm obtained completing the Pokedex, the rates are 1 in 1,365.33. The rates can be improved, birth, okay, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Pokemon Sword and Shield has a change where you can now encounter a number of Okay, but that doesn't, like, line up with what the table says. I don't understand. This is Cerebi, and Cerebi usually has, like, all of the correct information. Let's see what Smogon says. Uh, ba 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 Okay, yeah, the default rate is 1 in 4,096. 
Um, I don't know what that's talking about, though. They seem to think that there's more... There's, a, there's another, like, thing in the chain where the chain starts at w one Pokemon battled. And then 20, and then 50, and then 100, and then 200, then 300, then 500. I don't know anymore. My beliefs are being challenged, and I don't know what's correct. Either way, I think by the time... I think by the time we hit 500, our rate should be around 1 in 500. It should be around around there. Whether it's a little less, a little, a little more, not sure. We could also just randomly find a shiny that's not the one that we're looking for. It was a sad stream for John. It was not. It was pretty funny. I remember a good clip coming out of that. Also, hi, Josby. Hey, Lemon. Sorry, I was looking at stats, so I'm kind of getting to messages late. And John, uh, but you said my streams were where it was at. I feel I've been betrayed. That's kind of like the whole thing, I guess, is just to betray everyone that he possibly can. I don't know. I don't know what his game is. Hi, I'm Josby, and welcome to Mythbusters. Missed a number? I've, I feel like I've missed, oh, did I? Are you talking about like currently? As I was talking about the, the shiny chances, I've already missed an encounter. Cause I'm only counting the number of apples I find. Whoops, this isn't the right. Well, now I have to find apple. Oh, there he is. Okay, that was easy. Uh, 255, but we ran from two last stream by accident because I'm dumb so technically we are actually on we're right on where we need to be uh no man your your streams are good <laughs> they're kind of myth though <laughs> I see I see I see what this is he's just gonna go back and forth you can't trust him Alec John, you stream before? I don't remember what the game was called, but yeah, he played some game where he was trying to, like, rescue his dog from this giant, like, head statue thing that killed him. And his dog. <laughs> uh, you'll need to subscribe to my OnlyFans if you want to see it. John's stream was poppin'. Put a clip from him in streaming chat before. It's true, it's still there, I think. Which is weird, Bonza, that you wouldn't remember this if there's a clip in the streaming chat. Then again, Twitch does this really cringe thing where after like two months, but I don't think that counts for uh, clips, does it? Clips stick around forever, right? Or do they also get whacked? John is Rachel can confirm. What are you talking about? <laughs> Who is Rachel? <laughs> like from Friends? Are we talking about Rachel from Friends? Because I don't, I still don't see the connection. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, the clip was like specifically him trying to get like save his dog or something and then he ended up killing it by accident it's hilarious bonds don't watch stuff unless it's you and him that's weird clips normally stay around forever i've seen but i've gone through our discord and i've seen some of the clips that you just i i feel like you just can't access them anymore Oh, from Tower of God. Oh, spoilers. <laughs> if you haven't watched the anime or read it. 
It's been out for a long time, so I think we can get over the whole spoiler thing now, but... I hope I'm not Rachel from Friends. <laughs> Spelunky 2, that's what it was called. That's what it's called. I feel like I've messed... I need a... This mic arm can go farther, but then it can't hold the actual mic as well, and then it ends up slipping. I thought I was running. Oh well. Welcome to Joe's B Stream, where we're looking for miscolored apples and the points don't matter. Most of my clips got completely wrecked. My channel had a weird bud bug happen and a lot got whacked. That sucks. My encounter guess is 419, by the way. Okay. I hope we don't have to go that high. <laughs> but also, again, it could go into the thousands. Just not today. I'm definitely not hitting a thousand today. I don't have to go into work quite as early tomorrow, but I still can't, you know, I'm still going to want some sleep. It said disconnected reconnecting. Why did it say that? Are we good? Are we still live? Hello? Nope, you're good. I should probably start hit record. I, I should I should start recording. Just in case. Yeah, stream died slightly. Yeah, I saw a little pop-up that was like, hey, you kinda died there for a minute, but it, we re we reconnected. It's fine. Did you know that that's a setting in OBS? You have to go into your settings and say, hey, if I get disconnected, automatically reconnect. Like if I get cut off from stream, I kind of want you to reconnect. Goes for like 10 to 20 seconds. Yikes. Okay, well the VOD will be a little late, but that's fine. Like 20 minutes. So, as I was saying, we're going into the thousands today. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That is a myth. We're not doing that. I'm not going into the thousands. I think I've actually already missed some numbers. Two plus what? How many, how many have I missed already? 261? Oh, actually, I shouldn't have added that. Whoops. Man, I'm all kinds of messed up now. Well, now I just don't count this one. <clears throat> Get the coffee ready, sit back, relax, and stay energized. No, sir. I mean, I want to stay somewhat energized, but I am not... I am not staying up and going into the thousands on this. No, 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 no. Um, if my guess didn't come through, I'm going to go ahead and say 291 because I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little lucky today. I doubt we'll reach 500 because you bump into Joltik so often. Okay. I mean, yes, there are plenty of other things for me in, to encounter here. But we got this. It I mean, we got to 252 on one stream. I'm, I'm sure it's fine. We have been running into a lot of them, though. I honestly would not be surprised if we found a shiny Joltik before we found the shiny Applin. Even though I'm not battling the Joltik, so it shouldn't be, like, added. It shouldn't be, like, progressing. 
stream doesn't end until I find the green apple. That sounds like the worst thing. That's not, what if I actually did go into the thousands on this on this hunt? I would just not go to work tomorrow. That that's not gonna fly. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and guess 291. I'm hoping we get it a little early, and then we roll right into the Toxel hunt. <clears throat> because we have thunderstorms everywhere, and I also need thunderstorms to hunt Toxel. Okay. I wish I had somebody... I wish you didn't have the ability Unnerve, because having it proc every single battle is kind of irritating. Dude, imagine how bad this hunt would have been if I didn't get the, the Harvest ability on my Execute. Because we're rocking, like a steady 45% encounter rate. If this was a flat 30, this hunt would actually suck so bad. I'm feeling pessimistic with your odds. I think you're hitting the 900s. Okay. Well, we're not going to see that today either. So, if you guys want to keep your your count for a possible future stream, you have to keep track of it. Because I'm not writing that down everybody's numbers. I too wish I had somebody. What? What are we talking about? What did I say? I say something? Hmm? Can anybody find me? Somebody too! <laughs> Love. Okay, we're done with that. Cut it out. <laughs> Did I mention I got the flu shot today? Mm hmm. <laughs> That's rude. You're rude, Bonza. It's true, but it's also rude. <laughs> Just freaking. <laughs> Somebody rode over rode over my neck with a tractor wheel or something like that. Unsubscribe report. <laughs> my ears. <laughs> oh boy. Whoops. <laughs> I knew as soon as I started that up, I was like, I'm about to embarrass the shit out of myself. And it was so much worse than I thought. <laughs> Whoops, whoops, whoops. Um, full disclosure, I cannot compensate any medical expenses that may uh, need to be uh, taken to... Uh, oh, no, he's already clipped it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hey, for my Galar decks, I've caught 356 Pokemon and seen 387. Sick. You are so close. Just, uh, just 44 more to go. Oh, that's another Applin. I'm probably off on my count. I'm just gonna assume that I am at all times. <clears throat> Good luck. You should, you should be able to finish up the, the decks today, I think. 44, that's not too bad. It's pretty early in the day, I think. Still. Bonza, what's up? Why are you calling my name, dude? Hmm? What you need? I've heard a lot of voice cracks. <laughs> Why? Why? Why do you have to... 
Why are you still on this? Can we not move on? Can we not move on? That wasn't me. That was my, uh, a, uh, um. Damn, nice weather we're having. <clears throat> that is one of the worst voice cracks I've heard in a town to say. <laughs> and I hope to God nobody else has to hear that again. Well, that really sucks because John clipped it. So. Can't find Jangmo. You know where to find him? Is he just not showing up? You not know where uh, he spawns in at, or is it just you know where to look? He's just not spawning. Because I don't even know. I, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, but we can look it up if we need to. Oh, hey, look, hold on. The wild event, the wild area event has now shifted in Pokemon Sword and Shield for the final time. They're going to stop doing events in this game. This max raid battle event will run until the online services end in many years time and feature and feature battles with the majority of gigantic max Pokemon, including gigantic max Snorlax. So it's just all of the gigantic max forms are going to be available from now on. It's not appearing because of the weather. Oh, that sucks. That's true, and today is all thunderstorms. Which is good for me, but I'm I'm so sorry on your on your part. Did I count this one? I don't even know if I did. I'm gonna I'm gonna click it. And we'll just check afterwards. Titled Joe's B's Got Talent. Oh god. Oh okay. Alright, sure. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> that was really bad wasn't it okay one more uh oh i clicked it before i even figured out what i was fighting that could have been bad you have a jangmo egg that you can trade me i don't have an egg i don't have any spares of anything I didn't even see him there. You're so small. He's so cute. I love Galvantula so much. I love Joltik and Galvantula. Are they still the only electric bug or is there another one? Now? I think they're the only one. Can't think of anything off the top of my head. That is a Machop. Not here for you, buddy. Uh, did you look at the iron challenge at all yet? I have not. I have not looked at it yet. Um, why not try to redeem yourself, Josby? Try to hit that note again. We know you can do it. I think not. I'll just go ahead and cut my losses here. And then we'll... I'll just... I'll just... I'll, I'll take that L. I won't try to try to redeem it or get a better score we'll just take the l it's fine yeah just be seeing it again i'm tosh porno and this is web redemption <laughs> is vika volt not electra bug vika volt oh it is you're right you're right whoops yeah the vika volt line is all electric bug that's true Electric bug with uh, levitate, even though technically speaking, the bug can cancels out the uh, the electric weakness to ground. So that's not really an issue. Still nice. What am I doing? Still need to 
check to see if I'm on par. I don't think I am. <clears throat> what is the count? 274. Oh, I'm actually good. Sick. Maybe I'm getting better at this, he says, right before messing it all up all over again. Where do I put my cards? Put them over there. I've currently got a um currently got some Baja blast in my in my mug. So we'll I, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, carbonation is not good for the throat and that could have um, you know been my downfall <clears throat> and yeah that that's my excuse for that Jingmo problem resolved I got one traded to me in GTS nice oh can you still can you still ask for things on GTS and home is that the only way you can do that now? Because I, I thought in the, the actual games, it was only wonder trading now. Or can you actually use the, the GTS service? I thought they got rid of that entirely. Baja Blast, pretty good. Yeah, I got food from got some food from taco bell then head back here and got everything well i mean for the most part got everything set up and then uh and uh i had ordered the like chicken power bowl it's like my favorite thing off the taco bell menu um it just really sucks because i feel like they didn't cook the rice at all so i'm just eating hard crunchy rice is pretty dope my fave in home okay so you can still do gts trading nice i did not realize that that would actually be really helpful i can't think of anything off the top of my head that i like need other than the shinies that i'm hunting for and i'm not going to use gts for that That'd be a little cheap. Also, I don't see why anybody would trade me their shiny. Just doesn't make sense. It's not like you can specifically ask for shiny anyway. <clears throat> but yeah, I guess they're just gonna stop doing events in Sword and Shield from now on or they're just gonna like lump all of the or at least most of the events together and just keep everything going on constantly i mean i guess that's less work on their part but i mean i also don't feel like it would be the hardest thing in the world to just keep up a cycle of events going on i don't know I guess they just want to, you know, put all of their focus into the new games, I guess. I want to read this. I want to read. Oh, I already closed it down. Whoops. So let's look into this. What what what's, what's 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 going on with this? It is everything. It's like everything, everything. You've got Oh, you've got the um G Max Flapple and Appleton. 
Blitbug, Sizzlipede, Choodle, Wooloo, Dubwool, Orbeetle, Corviknight, Ditto, and then all the G Maxes from Kingler, Appleton, Sense of Scorch, Orbeetle. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Flapple, Sandaconda, Corviknight, Grimmsnarl, Garbodor, Alcremy. Sick. Uh, Dreadnaw, Hatrine, Butterfree, Lapras, Toxtricity, Gengar, Duraludon. Toxtricity again. Uh, Colossal, Machamp, Copperaja, Snorlax. And I think that's everything. So yeah, I guess they're just... I guess they're just going to run all of the G-Maxes in like one event. Event. And just keep it on constantly from now on let's double check because we're getting close to my guess so i want to be as accurate as possible i want to be accurate around the guesses so that we know when it happens if it happens who was right who was wrong Let's see, let's see. John doesn't think it's going to happen until 900s. Uh, Alex says 512. Fonzo, what was your guess? Where is that? Four nineteen. Good guesses, good guesses. We shall see. I really hope I'm the closest to correct. I would rather get it sooner than later. I would like to start the other hunt as soon as possible. Because as soon as we get... Um, as soon as we get Applin and Toxel, we no longer need to worry about weather, and then we can just shiny hunt for... We can just do a soft reset hunt for... Um, what is his name? Arctazol. 1,412. Again, I'm not going to hit the 1,000 mark, but sure. Yeah. I am not streaming until I hit 1,412. That's just not happening. Takes me about 300, oh, 300. Takes me about um, three hours to get to 250. So you're asking me to stream for like, like 15 hours straight. That's not happening. That's not happening. Stream until you get the shiny. No, no, we're not doing that. It could, it could, it could take thousands of encounters. We're not doing that. I hope to God it does not do that. I hope that I don't have to shiny hunt the apple too much longer. My question is, for the dinos, you can't encounter them regularly like you can other Pokemon. Can you still chain them by turning in the fossils? Weak. <laughs> okay, Lemon. <laughs> I do not have time for that. It is a Tuesday. I have work tomorrow. I'm not doing a 15 hour stream. And a hunt until you get the shiny could easily like be over 24 hours straight. So 
real quick i'm gonna check my thing again i'm correct sick but let's go find those fossils because i have turned in a couple of a couple of the fossils for arctisult before so does that mean that i've already technically started a chain on it zero 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 it doesn't count you can't chain them turning in the fossils doesn't start a chain because you don't battle them that's crazy So you like legitimately cannot do anything to increase your odds except for just the base shiny charm work is for the weak i gotta pay the bills i don't know what you're talking about i'm kind of hoping that youtube will uh one day pay the bills but for now it definitely does not full odds baby <laughs> I mean, it won't be full odds because I have the shiny charm, but it, there's there's not going to be any other way to increase it. I can only assume that breeding would also not increase your chain because that's also not a battle. Oh, I'm sorry, little guy. I didn't see you there. You're just so weird, itty bitty. The itsy bitsy spider right here. Ladies and gentlemen, the itsy bitsy spider. Almost at my guess. Two more to go. Two more to go. Next one is shiny, bruh. Next one is shiny. All right. Okay. Okay. I mean, you're just calling the number before what I called, but yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that next one is shiny. I got you. Boom. <laughs> Dude, imagine. <laughs> You say darn after I've already encountered one. I was going off of when you said it for me. My shiny, uh, Golisopod knows false swipe. Sick. So your shiny can hunt other shinies. I'm just using my Urshifu for this. He's like the only one on my team who could learn false swipe. All right. Up next is my guess. Will it be right? No. Nope. It will not. That's fine. That's okay. I didn't want to be right anyway. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Imagine and unless are one of like my favorite. What, do I, what, what, what? It's one of my like new favorite words. I don't know like the specific intention of being like imagine or unless. Like those two words have just gotten so much better over the like past year or so. Uh, whoever gets the guest spot on should get a free membership like for a life or for a month because I could pay for you for a month a free membership, but I'm not taking I don't even think I can give I, I don't think I can have members yet. So I don't even know what you're on about. 
or name the shiny? What do you... Applin. It's it, Applin. What do you mean name the shiny? That's what we're hunting. <laughs> Unless you were to say something weird like next gloom encounter is shiny. Imagine. <laughs> But I feel like if you're betting against the Pokemon that's being hunted, you're probably gonna be wrong. Because I'm not increasing the odds of that shiny. I'm only increasing the odds of this one. Wait, Lemon is right. Whoever gets the shiny call right should get to na- Oh, that's what you mean. Oh, if you call it right, you get to name the shiny. Ooh. Well, I hate that idea. I'm not even going to lie, Chief. I hate it. But I'll, I, I'll, I'll agree to these terms. If you actually call the number right, I'll, name, I'll let you name it. I hate this idea. I absolutely hate it. But I'll let you do it. Okay, Josby, if you're reading what Alex said, then I said what he... What? I know what you're saying, but good God, man. Yes, I figured it out off of Alex giving me a better clue. I don't put half sentences together very well because there's a delay, right? If you say something and it's reference to something that happened like 10 seconds ago, I've already thrown all of that information out the window. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I've already, I've already long forgotten what I said 10 seconds ago. I will name a shiny Sagiri from the greatest show ever, Aramanga Sensei. Oh god. I do I don't even remember that character. Is that the like main character? Sagiri? Yeah, Alec figured it out for me. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm just constantly memory dumping. I will name it Sour Apple. If we come back to, I don't even remember what your guess is. It's like 1400 something. It was like 1412 maybe, something like that. If we eventually get to the 1400s, which God, I hope we don't, then sure, you can name it Sour Apple. You could name it Granny Smith for all you want. I hope we don't get Alex, um, guess either. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want it, I don't want any of you to guess it right. I don't want anybody to guess it right. I don't want to have to name it after somebody else. I wasn't going to name it to begin with. Good job. You remember that. Did I actually get the number right? No shot. 1412. Good year. Good year. No idea what the, happened in 1412, but... Did I count that? Then what's, what, what is the count? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. What is the count? That's that's not the right thing. Where'd my apple go? It's in here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Two nine. Oh wow. What? No way. I'm actually right. How am I doing it? Wow, counting the forbidden math. 
mind you it has to be spot on otherwise no naming it yeah you can't be close if you're one off i'm not doing it John didn't even give me a specific number. He just said somewhere in the 900s. So I'm not counting that either. Bonzo's was like 490 something, I think. I don't know, man. 1412 ain't nobody got rights. You being sexist and race? No, no. Saying 1412 was a good year. I don't, again, I have no idea what happened in 1412. This continent hadn't even been discovered well by, by any of the Europeans or whatever. I don't know who all discovered. Apparently the Vikings discovered it first, but that doesn't like surprise me. Vikings discovered it first like you know other than you know native people who already lived here I think it's so pretentious to be like I discovered this it's like it's existed for like millions and millions and probably billions of years before you even existed you did not discover this <laughs> I want to check the number again because I, I feel like I'm off, but I've been right so far. So I'm just going to keep pretending like that's true. I'm going to hope, hope that I'm right. What was Bonza's answer? He's not, um, not here to remind me. It's 400 something. Four nineteen, not four ninety something. Four nineteen. That's not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take a four nineteen. There are so many gloom here. Partially because I'm using the the harvest ability to force grass Pokemon spawns, but I mean It is what it is If I was hunting gloom this wouldn't be a problem But I don't even think there's like a shiny gloom or vile plume in the the shining fates packs We need to figure out because I'm pretty sure there's, other than Shining Fates and Hidden Fates, I'm pretty sure there are other packs that still have shiny Pokemon cards. And no, I don't mean hollows. I mean, they have the Pokemon cards, and the Pokemon in that card is sh the shiny version. Because I would like to do this again. I just also would like it to not be this big of a pain. Like the whole weather thing and, and whatnot. Also, I pulled all sword and shield Pokemon. I didn't I didn't pull a shiny that came from anywhere else. Actually, are there non I'm sure there are. There's gotta be, right? Hold on. Pokemon Shining Fate card list. Oh god. Uh Is there a way to I don't think I can filter it like this. 
Maybe a different site. We should officially have... Ah, shiny. Here we go. Oh, yeah. It's got, like, Rowlet. And... Oh, Suicune. And... Wow, there's not a whole lot of non-Rotom is in here. A lot of them are... Are from this generation. A lot of them are Sword and Shield. Okay, so far I've seen three. I think that's it. Nope, nope, coughing. Oh, but if you got wheezing though, that is technically Galarian wheezing, so it would still be. Still would be from this game series. Uh, is that it? No, Ducklet and Mincino. And Bunnelby, Oranguru. Yeah. Oh, you could get the shiny Vs as well. So technically that would include Lapras. Ditto. Okay, there's a couple. But yeah, most of them are from Sword and Shield. So I guess that checks out. <clears throat> All right. I'm mm. <laughs> I'm curious. Wait, can Applin hold anything? Should I start thiefing Applin? Should I use thief on the Applin? Let's find out, shall we? Is it worth? Can you hold your evolution item at all? That would be sick. That would save me a lot of time. I I don't think it can. I don't think it can hold anything. Classification height. Da, 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 da. It doesn't say anything about. Oh, wild hold item. Nothing. That's the big rip. Where do we get the evolution item? So we're gonna need. Axu's eye and hammerlock. Which one is Axu's eye? I think that's in the first set of areas. Did I run out? Wait, what's his hidden evolution? What's his item? why can't i say this right wait what's his evolution item it's the it's the different kind of apples there is a a tart apple and a sweet apple and we want the tart apple Did I use up all my moves? Everything except for Thief. Can't. Okay, here's my question. If I can just knock these things out with Thief, then I'll stick around. Because that's 25 more uses. But I'm pretty sure I have to go over to Axu's Eye, and it's one of like the hidden items on the ground that like respawns every day. Which is a super nice feature, by the way. Oh, I can't knock him out with just one. Well, that sucks. Okay, well, I'm not gonna try this then. Let's... Let's go over to Axu's Eye, right? Let's fly over to Axu's Eye. Let's go see if we can't get this, uh, this apple from over there. And then we'll go heal up and, and reset. I think it should be around the tree. And that would make the most sense. Fancy apple. That is not the one that we need. Nor is that. 
Those are the cooking ingredients, not the actual evolution item. Is that it? Is that it? That's all you've got for me, huh? Hmm. Really? Wait. Rare candy. Okay, well, I mean, that's nice. Big pearl. Okay, money. Pearl. More money. Okay, well, it's not here. Let's, uh, let's go reset. But yeah, Applin has its own evolutionary item. Which we can also get in Hammerlock. I just gotta go, I gotta go, uh, talk to the right person. I do believe. I do believe. Thank you, thank you. Let's go see if we can get the right evolution item. They're like way, way over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not you guys. It's like a couple over here or something. Is it you? I have. You have, huh? I really don't care. Any what? Huh? I have. You have, huh? I mean, I don't really care or anything. What? I haven't. You haven't heard? There's a rumor that if you give the one you like an applin, you'll uh, be together forever. Actually, the truth is there's someone I like. She's going to move overseas pretty soon. I've been searching for Applin so I can get my feelings across the right way, but I can't find one. If you've got an Applin, would you please give it to me? Yeah, sure thing, buddy. Where did you get that Applin from? Did it just... Did it just pull my Applin from my box? I'm going to be a little upset if that's the case. If it just pulled the Applin from my living decks to give to this guy. I mean, I guess we could just go catch another Applin, but. <sighs> I really wanted to give you an Applin that I caught on my own, but well, just forget it. I mean, bro, there's tons of them right out there. I've been searching for them all day. You're right. I can't take it. Yeah. Even if we're separated and far away from each other, I'll still be waiting for an Applin you caught yourself. Okay. Good, good. You're going to give it back though, right? <laughs> oh man. I think he's going to give it back. I hope. I hope. You're good. Can I have my Applin back? Say, what do you think about that just now? You think it meant that? Yes. Bro, don't be so thick, bro. Like thick gold. Don't, not the other. Damn it. <laughs> yep. Thank you. I need to, I need to put that back. <gasps> That's the one we need. Yes. You have no idea how happy this makes me. Now we don't need to go searching for the evolution item. I mean, it's not like you're in an apple in shortage. That's true. Betrayed his apple. Hey, kid. You want to buy this apple? Ah. Is there a good re-zero the abridged series? Because I'd watch the shit out of that. Oh, hey. I need you to make my execute faint. I think I think that's fine. I think I think we're good. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. And then I couldn't get away. Honestly, I should look into more abridged series. I'm sure there's a lot of really garbage ones, but I'm sure there's also good ones as well. 
<laughs> good? No. Oh, well, that's upsetting. Does somebody want to make one? <laughs> uh, let's see. Is that the only one nearby? I'm kind of hoping that we can find a Flapple then. That would be sick. There is a part of me that's hoping I can just find a Flapple then real quick. And then we'll go back to the Applin hunt. I'm sure I'm wasting just way too much time doing this. But who knows? Who knows? Right on. That's nice. Because, wait, how long? Let me go back to the front page of Cerebi and see what it says about this event. When does it start? It starts today. <laughs> Puky Muki, however you call or pronounce that, I'm not sure. Dumb. Don't don't care for that Pokemon. Um run Not what I'm looking for. I could also throw some wishing pieces into the dens. Try to get them to activate. My bad. Sorry, sorry, big guy. November 1st to the end of service, whenever they decide to actually kick the sword and shield online services to the bucket. Okay. No, this thing could have had leftovers on it, and because I'm holding an item, I just wouldn't know. That kind of sucks. So yeah, apparently the quote-unquote event starts today. Shiny luck! Thank you, Pokemaster. I didn't even see that. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm a bit late on that one. Whoops. My bad. Um, I've taken a little bit of a break um, actually looking for the Applin because I was going to go around and check out um, if any of the dens have a flapple in it. They don't seem to, so I'm just going to go back to the hunt. So he should be right over here back at the giant's mirror. I am very, very lucky that um, today, November 1st, since it's the first day of the month, um, since it's the first day of the month, all of the areas in the wild area are the same weather. And I just so happen to need thunderstorms for both Applin and Toxel, which I am hunting. Um, I'll get to a Toxel hunt later on. How worth do you think the event will be? Like, should I get Nintendo Online Gold Premium Service to participate or what? I mean... I mean, I'm gonna be honest, Chief. It's just reruns of, of past GMAX events, pretty much. Um, so if you want a GMAX or you're hunting for, like, a shiny GMAX or something like that, then sure. I don't even think Charizard is on this list, though. I think Charizard is just a really rare... Really, really rare one. But I would say no. Because, I mean, how much are... How much are Dynamax... How much are G-Max is going to really be... Prevalent once you... You know, once we move on to the next games. Like, having a G-Max doesn't really mean anything if they're just gonna do away with them, right? 
you guys play Pokemon Go? No, not really. Not anymore. I have nothing in my area, so... It makes it a little difficult. I mean, I guess you could still farm items out from it. Are those bottle caps? I think you can get bottle caps out of it. You can get rare candies out of it. You can get the TRs and stuff like that. Some of the berries. All of the different ore and the XP candies and stuff like that. Which is okay. I didn't even know there was a Corviknight G-Max. It doesn't really look all that different, gonna be honest. All right. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. The run into the apples until it's green stream. I know I've missed a lot of stuff for Pokemon Go, but I don't know. I'm not too worried about it. Did I hit it? Did I press the button? I don't think I did. Maybe I should double check to make sure that I'm correct. There's a pretty good chance that I'm not. That said, I've been pretty good about keeping my count today. Pretty good, pretty good. I see that. I see that shaking grass over there. 306. Oh, I'm actually off. I actually need to not count one. Usually I don't have that problem. So I won't count this one. <clears throat> I'm super glad that the electric terrain is, uh not hindering me as a flying or a steel type at all. I'm really glad my steel type Pokemon doesn't just get zapped by lightning every now and then for no reason. If they discontinue service, is that like no more trading? I mean, yeah, it would be like no wonder trading, probably no more like raid battles or anything like that. But they're not discontinuing the service like as soon as the new game comes out. You can still do stuff online in this game, but it's like how they disconnected the the service for um for the DS and the 3DS and whatnot. It'll take a couple of years, but eventually they're gonna get to a point where it's like, well, we've moved on so far. Um time to time to discontinue the service. Because at that point, if like, if they don't have enough people playing it or using it, then it's just a money pit. I mean, I think we should take on like a Genshin kind of approach where we just like release one game and then keep adding on the regions like keep adding on the regions every like year two years or so but then keeping the base game the same and just update it But that means that they would have to 
they would have to implement a system where you could spend money on the game, right? In some way, shape, or form. So that they could make their money back. So maybe like cosmetics. Like they which they have for Pokemon Unite. So I don't see why you couldn't integrate something like that. Like, oh no, you you came out with more customization for your playable characters. Oh, oh no, you came out with like outfits and stuff for Pokemon. That would be sick. Genshin is superior, that is correct. <laughs> I'm just like... I, I'm just tired of buying the new games and then a couple years down the line being like, okay, everything else prior to this, irrelevant. Oh, you guys want to play the old games? Well, we kind of discontinued everything, so including the systems that you played it on. So we'll just re-release um, an updated version. It's just like, just, just make one game that is really good. Take a couple of years, make one game that's really good, and then just expand on the world through updates the problem with that is they would have to make it a pc game because you would not be able to get a, a genshin sized world on a switch and have it run reliably and also continue to expand on the world throughout the next couple of years Now, if you could somehow make a PC-like console where you could swap out things like grass graphics cards and other things that like beef it up, and as new technology came out, you would just release new parts. Like, it would be like, it would be like a modular console, right? And it would be like, oh, the new graphics card came out. Buy the new graphics card. And then you just design it in such a way that you can just take out the old one really easily, maybe with like a couple of screws or whatever, and then plug it in. Buy a console specifically designed for this game. This is how Nintendo would get its money back. I'm just... But I, I, I don't think that's necessarily true. A $500 Pokemon game and console sounds like a Nintendo thing. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying make a console that's modular like a PC. Because if you... If new technology comes out for a PC, you don't have to go out and buy a brand new PC. You might have to buy a new graphics card. You might have to swap out the motherboard. Something like that. But you don't necessarily have to buy a brand new PC every every single like couple of years. Like I've already had Actually, we're coming up on my PC, my custom-built PC's, like, second birthday. I built it um, during the Christmas season of 2020. And I haven't had to upgrade anything on it since. Now, do I want, like, a, a 30... What are the different versions? There's the 30, 70, 80, and 90, I think. I would take a 30, 70.
That'd be pretty dope. But I'm just saying, the, the problem the problem with PCs, right, is that they're very they're very um they're not as user friendly. Let's say that. PCs are not as user friendly. A lot of people won't buy, won't like try to custom build their own PC because they don't have the knowledge for it. It's really not that hard, but like the entry level is higher than a console. But if you found a way to make a console modular like a PC, but more user friendly, more user friendly, something that you could easily plug in or unplug, like maybe take out two screws, take out the, the graphics card, put in the new graphics card, um, just like plug it in like a cartridge or something and then put the two screws back in to make sure it's secure that is fine then you're good <laughs> that's all i'm saying then if you had a console that was beefier than the than the switch then you could release a game where you instead of releasing a new game every year every two years or whatever you could release one game put in a system where you can spend money on cosmetics and then like every year or so release a new region maybe change up the meta take put in a new mechanic something like that Because I think about how the Switch has the, the Joy-Cons. Like, that idea at its core is not... It was kind of like revolutionary. Where you could just like, you know, slide. It was, it was, it was portable. But you could buy any Joy-Cons you wanted, and you could just slide them off, slide them on, slide them off, slide them on. And they still function. It's fine. You don't have to have your own separate controller, even though I do, because I, I like the feel of these controllers better. But if you found a way to use that kind of technology, but with other parts, then you could make a modular console. Or maybe I should just not say any of my ideas out loud and then I'll just go make my own thing. And then, you know, once I eventually get my degree and actually know what I'm talking about. Though it might become one of those things where I'm like, oh yes, now I know what I'm talking about and all my ideas were dumb because it's not, like, feasible. That happens a lot. Problem with Joy-Cons, they break super easily and they cost a good bit to replace. That's also true. Uh, yeah. I don't know if... I don't think that's, like, any part of the modular part of it, though. Like, the Joy-Cons itself, like, they were just not made... Like, I think I already have a couple of buttons that have gone out on me. I think um, I already have a good bit of drift on some of the... On some of the, the joysticks. The issue was not the fact that the that they were modular. The, the issue was they were just poorly made. And I mean, it's very possible that Nintendo did not build them to last because they wanted people to replace them. They're just flimsy. Yeah, it's 
It's very possible. I mean, you think about... If you didn't know this, the light bulb industry for like decades, I think they've finally started to revert what they're doing, but light bulbs were initially um, really easy to maintain. Like they almost, as long as you didn't do anything crazy, if you didn't like smack them around or anything, you could put in a light bulb and they could last literally like decades there is still some light bulbs that have a longer life than people and uh what the, the light bulb industry was like well this is a problem because then people are just going to buy the light bulbs and then they're never going to replace them so we're just not going to make any money off of this so they had scientists specifically make light bulbs that would break over a certain period of time. And it's the same thing with with a, a PC mouse. You only have so many clicks in a mouse before it inevitably get gives out. Like companies will just build something and design it to break after a certain point because they want to make money. And if you build something that never breaks, then, well, you're never going to get people to continue buying. And then they don't make any money off of it, which is dumb and stupid, because why would you design something to break? So what you're telling me is that Nintendo made light bulbs. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. But it wouldn't surprise me if Nintendo made light bulbs. But yes, that, that is a problem with a lot of things. Because companies want to make money, they will design something. And if they design it too well, they'll dial it back until they know that it serves a decent, you know, a decently long time for people to be more or less satisfied. And then it will inevitably give out and break so that they will go back and buy a new one. Speaking of which, I still need to fix my Xbox controller. I never did that. My A button has given out on me, and that's honestly possible. That that is why it's not working right now. I, I could have got, I could have reached the the end of that controller's lifespan and now it's just done the good thing about it is, is that you know it's it's an electronic it's just hardware that you can if you know what you're doing you can fix and that's what i intend to do i i want to crack it open find out what exactly is wrong with it and then see if i can fix it I counted when I shouldn't have. That's my bad. My bad. Uh, do I need to dial it back? I don't think I ever have to dial it back. I just need to get another encounter, right? I just looked at this too. Oh. And I'm still off. Every time I see something that's not Applin, I always get worried that I'm going to find a shiny. And I'm just like, God damn it. This isn't what I was hunting. I mean, I shouldn't. Because I should, my, like... My headspace should be more like, oh, hey, free shiny. I get this and whatever I'm hunting. Like finding a shiny something else is not going to detract from my odds at finding the shiny that I'm hunting. So maybe I should consider changing my mindset. 
Because it's dumb and stupid. Why would I be disappointed by something good? Okay. I think I'm going to have to... <clears throat> I'm going to take a break here real quick. I mean, it doesn't break the chain, doesn't. Literally has no downsides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it doesn't, it doesn't break the chain. There is no downsides. So I don't know why I would feel that way. Okay. So Naplin. Sick. All right. I will be right back. Give me a second. You are absolutely right. If I found a shiny I wasn't expecting it, I could just clickbait them. I could just what? clickbait it. So hard. <coughs> it's true. I could do that. And also just free shiny. Why would I be upset about versus a free shiny, huh? Okay. In the next um seventy or so, we could totally hit a uh, Bonza's guess. Would I just have to wait? If Bonza actually guessed 419 and it was correct. But I just have to wait for him and be like, hey, yo, Bonza. 
you got it correct what name what name do you want to give it because he never said he never gave me a name Would I just do it off stream when I ask him off stream or would uh Would I maybe Wait until the next stream and he'll be like hey bonzo we found the shiny If you didn't know Yes off stream Or do we just wait to name it on stream You can ask him too. that's fair I'm hoping he's not right. I'm hoping we get it before 400. I would like to continue on from this hunt. I know I'm asking a lot, but... I would like to continue on from this hunt and then go straight over to Toxel. It would have to be off stream. It doesn't have to be. I could just wait until the next time I see him in stream. Take a quick detour over the Pokemon Center and be like, hey, this is the shiny Applin. You guessed your number correctly. What do you want to rename it? And then he'll probably say something dumb. And then I have to name my shiny Applin something dumb. Let's be honest. You know, I actually used to nickname like almost all of my Pokemon. But I stopped giving Pokemon nicknames because as the years went on, I would transfer my Pokemon up to my new versions. And I would look back and I'd be like, this is a really dumb name. I hate this name and because I transferred it up I'm no longer like this file is no longer the original trainer so I can't give it a different name I can't just change it it's stuck like that forever and it's cringe and I hate it so I stopped naming things because I was like eventually I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cringe at this so why would I give it a name if I don't give it a name then I never cringe thanks John, fantastic. Good, good for you, I guess. I don't know why you needed to share with the class, but all right. He would name it Buttercup after his favorite Powerpuff Girl. I mean, okay. All right. Honestly, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Well, that was your own fall. But you're a cringing person, so that will always happen. It's true. That's why um, I've started being more comfortable with nicknaming things again. Because I'm like, uh, I, I want to be able to look back on, on things like this. I want to give it names, and then if I look back on it and cringe, then oh well. At least I'll be able to know what uh, what anime I was into at the time. Because <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> More often than not, I'm probably going to name a Pokemon after some sort of anime or something. Like if I named a... Uh a ghost Pokemon like Sakura or Sachi. No, not Sakura, but um, Megune. Megune or Sachi. Th that would be at least be funny. I don't think I counted this one, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it and hope that I'm right. What would I name an apple? What would I name an apple in?
Yeah, that's the best part for names. Remember why you named them. <laughs> How much you've grown up from your adventures. I've definitely named uh, things like um, Geodude and Graveler Dwayne before. And I always look back, I'm like, oh man, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I would totally do it again, but I'm so dumb. You'd name it Chaplin? That's weird. That's weird. That's like... There's two... Hip and Haplin. <laughs> okay, that's dumb, but kind of funny. Chaplin's just two different parts of, of weird to me. Two parts of me that I, that I wish to never look back on. Uh... I used to have a Mothim in Platinum that I named Pride and Joy. So I absolutely loved my Mothim. It was my Pride and Joy, but I will say Butterfree is better. Actually, what is my favorite out of all the bugs? What is my favorite bug type Pokemon? Heracross, super dope. Escavalier, awesome. Butterfree, of course. Do we have a bug dragon yet? We should have a bug dragon. Pip the apple. Okay. Hmm. Pen pineapple and apple and pen. <laughs> I love that. You could not fit that into uh, a, a name, but that is hilarious. Pen pineapple and apple and pen. Oh, that's 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 good. That's good. <laughs> I wonder if Pen Pineapplin would would fit in a name. That, that's a really good one. I really, really like that. <laughs> oh, I know I haven't been counting. Let's check. Oh, actually, well, I, I caught myself and, and now I'm correct. What? Pfft. It's like I'm starting to get good at this and that's kind of weird. I'm actually... Right. What? That's crazy. Just yesterday with the Pumpkaboo hunt, I was like 10 off. What sort of things remind me of apples? I need to do an evolutionary exchange, Carablast, for a Shelmet. Uh, can I get a Carablast or a Shelmet? Do you need both of them? Because if you... If you trade me one, then I can just trade you, trade you it back for the, for the other, and then trade you back the other one as well. Name it password, apple seeds? No. No, 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 no. Oh, by the way, 
I found out what was happening yesterday with that weird um, sound thing that happened. I have no idea what triggered it. It's Twitter. I was watching YouTube yesterday. Um, so you want me to do you do I need to find a Carablast or something? Can I even find one right now? I have no idea. You got this. Hey, thanks. Happy smiles. Appreciate the support. I, I do not expect, I mean, I kind of hope that I find it kind of soon, but I'm not really like expecting anything too crazy. But if we, if we get it, we get it soon. That'd be great. I would really like to find this one and then start up the, the Toxel hunt, which is next. We've got to get both of these guys. Shiny Flapple. Shiny G Max Toxtricity. That's the hunt. We gotta go for it. But, uh, hello. I just joined because I saw an apple and I couldn't help myself. What's up? How's it going? How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you. I'm just doing a, a simple apple and hunt. Let me take a quick break so that I can help out with some some pokedex entries if i can remember what buttons to press that'd be great how are you doing with steamations i hope i'm saying that correctly uh link trade what no i no stop what did i do i'm gonna i'm just gonna close down and go back to local and then i'll reopen it because i forgot how to I think I, I don't know. Wing trade, and then instead of pressing or mashing A, uh, yes, cancel the. I don't know how I would have still had a request considering that I canceled out my my thing, but yeah. Anyway, um, yesterday, when that like sound started playing over my stream it was something on twitter just started playing i wasn't even i wasn't even tabbed in to twitter i didn't have any i didn't even have it open over there um and uh it just started playing some video or something and then uh and then after stream at some point i was watching youtube or whatever i think it was like eating dinner watching youtube and uh it did it again and i flipped through all my tabs and it's not it wasn't even a video that like i was hovering over like in a different like in the in the tab it was somewhere else on the page at some point in time just ac activated for no reason and I, I just didn't, I didn't understand here. How about, I don't necessarily care if I get this back or not. So do, do whatever you wish with the Arctazolt. We will be hunting that one as well later on. Good to hear my friend. I'm doing great. Just real excited to watch a new Pokemon hunt. I'll sub. Oh, crap. I didn't open, wait, I didn't open my, my stuff, my alerts and whatnot. Oh God, I'm bad at this. I'm really excited to watch my new hunt. Uh, whilst I'm here, since you seem nice. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let me open up the stuff. Cause I mean, like, you know, I want you to have some sort of like recognition and whatnot. I don't want it just to be like, a, not a thing but I guess I don't need to have the alert box up because it that's working what happened did it did something cancel wrong Pokemon oh I don't have a I don't have a shellman on me do you need me to go wait maybe I do it would be somewhere in here I guess I could just breed one later If I can find it. 
wherever it is oh there it is show me there you go i'll just replace it later it's all good sure do my arts a lot better now too oh okay john was asking sorry don't mean to read out your conversation for anyone keeps me busy well that's very nice of you okay let me close this down now that i've got everything open Do 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 do. Actually, I can keep this open on the side. All right. Sure. And then, yeah, you can have yours back. I really like Escavalier. He's one of my favorite bugs. Escavalier, I was talking about this earlier. Escavalier, Heracross, Butterfree, they're, those are all good. I used to, I used to do like one type only matches against uh, Lemon and whatnot. And so I had an all bug team at one point. And I'm pretty sure I used, I don't think I had hair cross. Pincer is also a good choice. Delmize I also need. Okay, I got you right after this. And then you can just like trade me whatever. Which one is Delmize? Is Delmize the the anchor thing? All right. What the heck? What the heck is a Delmas? Where is he? Where'd he go? Which one is that? He is the anchor. Oh, there he is. There he is. Found him. Here you go. All right. Okay, and then after this, I will go back to the Applin hunt. I have a feeling I have a feeling even if I go for like four hours today, it's a good possibility that I will not, probably won't get it. I don't know. Maybe we will. I should keep my spirits a little higher than that. We're almost at 350. The next like, the next goal is the 500 mark, right? Because then we don't actually have to like keep fighting them. Um, then we can just get into an encounter, run, get into another encounter, run. No problem, man. Good luck with the rest of your decks. Hope you're able to finish out pretty soon. That's like plus three to, to whatever you had before. No, I'm glad you did that because I was struggling to... <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna close down my internet connection so that it's not lagging. Alright. I'm sorry, the phone died. 
It's all good. Welcome back. Welcome back. So yeah, the next... We're not going to hit like the next milestone for the hunt until 500. And then at that point, we've maxed out everything that we can do for increasing our shiny odds. Hopefully we get it before then. But I'm not... I'm not banking on it. Because so far... We've done how many shiny hunts on stream? Pumpkaboo. Uh, Pumpkaboo, Applin. Uh, da 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 da. Anorith, Ammonite. I think that's it. I think those are the only ones that we've done so far. And so far, I have not hit 500 on any of them. But I only got two of them so far. Unfortunately, we did not get Pumpkaboo yesterday. Even though I think we got up to like 350 encounters or something like that. I think we're just now hitting the same mark with Applin that we were on with Pumpkaboo yesterday. You tried for Aerodactyl. Oh, that's true. And we didn't get it. So that's true. So five hunts, two successful hunts, hopefully three successful hunts here shortly. Um, but uh, Anorith was really crazy at full odds. Got it at 114. Ammonite was like... Four, like 429, something like that. Speedrunning, logging into Twitter on my PC. <laughs> logging into Twitter speedrun, let's go. So, only two shinies in an actual hunt, but we haven't exceeded 500. And Applin might change that. Might. Technically, our next milestone isn't 500. Technically, it's 419. Because that was Bonza's guess as to when we would get the shiny. So I'm looking forward to 419. See if we get it then. If we don't, that's cool too. I would like to at least get it today, if not soon. If we get Applin, if we get Applin prior, how, how long has the stream been? Just over two hours? Let's say, If we get Applin prior to the three hour mark, then I will move directly into the Toxel hunt. But if it's after three hours, I'll probably just stop there. Because <sighs> unfortunately, I cannot spend all night on stream. Even though I really, really, really want to finish these hunts. But how long has it been since we did since we did the initial uh, Shining Fade stream? How long has it been? It's been like... Maybe two weeks? It's been a while. Also, what am I doing? Let's see, let's see. When was the Shining Hunt, the Shining Fates Hunt? That was the speed run. It was before then, right? Whoops. Oh. Maybe if I sort by alive, that'll be that'll be easier. 
on the 20th. So that was... Two days from now, it will be two weeks. Exactly. So yeah, about two weeks ago... Did the Shining Fates pack opening... Got the... Hold on. Two weeks ago, Shining Fates hunt. Got the Flapple, Toxtricity, G-Max, and then... Shiny, uh, the, the, the Arctizolt as well. So it's about time we finish up these shiny hunts for these cards, don't you think? And so far, I have zero out of three of them. Oh boy. So many things to do, so many things to do. And then we still gotta wrap up the Emerald playthrough. Now that we actually have the Anorith, I gotta get it trained up and on par with the team. And there's gonna have to be a whole like fee bass hunt. Not even looking for a shiny fee bass, it's just looking for fee bass in general. An emerald might be its own stream. Sorry about your stream, Joe's be still watching. Don't worry. Oh, I, I'm not even worried about it. You guys can go ahead and like have on uh, have like a full conversation do your thing. I don't I don't mind. Oh boy. I'm just thinking about all the things that you know. I've either started up that I need to finish. I put a lot on my plate, and now I have to go back and finish everything. I'm just kind of like... Main... I'm just streamlining. That's the word I'm looking for. Streamlining my thought process. And I have more ideas in the future that I want to do. I want to get to playing on a, a Mystery Dungeon. Is it Mystery Dungeon DX? Is that what it's called? Funny enough, I bought it. I played like the very beginning of it and I haven't touched it since. So I would actually like to restart that file and then actually like go through and play the whole game. Can't believe this stream only has a few likes. It deserves more. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. I don't... I mean, I don't know. I, I think it's... I'm not really concerned about, like, likes and, and all that. I'm surprised if it gets any likes. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm good. It's just a shiny hunt. Most... here Here's my issue, is... I can understand why people don't really care for shiny hunts because like for the most of it for the majority of it it's just running into the same thing over and over and over again it's like the hype part is when you actually find the shiny right I think that's I, that's what like most people look forward to, right? So something that I'm always trying to keep in mind is how besides like staying actively engaged with people and you know trying to trying to make fe people feel welcome and whatnot, like what what else can I do to try to bring some sort of like entertainment value? What can I do to make shiny hunting more exciting? Because for the most part, shiny hunting is really not all that exciting. Mm. 
but I still got to get my shinies, so I've got to do it. And technically speaking... Actually, I don't even know if this is true, because I'd have to look into the stats and, like, the, the shiny rates. I think it might be easier to... What, why am I going to the box? What am I doing? It might be easier to use the Masuda method because I do have a, a Korean Ditto. I could just be breeding Applin until I get a shiny. But... I don't know. I don't want to, like, just breed for every single shiny Pokemon that I want to hunt, right? I feel like if I only did the Masuda method for all of the shinies that I was trying to get, I might consider Masuda method, uh, using the Masuda method for uh, Arctazolt. But he's a very different case because he's because he's a, a fossil and I otherwise would just be soft resetting for him anyway. Uh, what have I missed? We're still hunting for the apple. Still looking for my green. Oh, I just reset and I forgot to. I forgot to have my execute KO'd. Whoops. I guess he's strong enough. He can fight. But uh, yeah, Bonza, I guess uh, something you did miss. Since we are coming up on your guess of 419, um, we have decided that if you guess spot on the number, not in the decks, but of my count, the actual like encounters, which is technically 361 because I accidentally ran from two in the previous stream. If you guess it correct spot on, you get to name the Applin. So anybody who wants to take a shot, anybody who wants to take a guess, we've already rolled over my 291 guess, which sucks. But I mean, if I had the choice, I just wouldn't nickname it. And I guess technically, if nobody else gets it right, then, you know, it's up to me what I name it anyway. So who knows? Oh gosh. Oh John John, you're gonna specify it's no longer nine hundred, it's nine sixty-two. Got it. Got it. You I don't know if we'll even hit nine sixty I don't think we're gonna hit nine hundreds in this stream. But if you wanna keep your guess at nine sixty two, hold on to that number for next time. Cause I'm not gonna keep track of it. I don't really nickname Pokemon. Yeah, neither do I. I don't really anymore. I'm okay with it now, but I have to have like a really good name idea. For this playthrough, I named everyone on my team. Um, I think I'm more okay with naming things now because if I look back on it, then I'm like, oh yeah, I remember these guys from this stream. Doug Trio, why you gotta be this way? Popping up all the all over the place. Nicknames I do give to my Pokemon are just not good. See, that's what I felt like. That's why I stopped nicknaming them. Is that I would eventually, like years later, look back at my Pokemon that I nicknamed, and then I would just be like, uh, I don't like this. And because I transferred it, I can't I can't change the name. So I just stopped nicknaming things. But I think I'm more okay with it now. Especially for streams, I'm more okay with it. I give Pokemon regular old names now. Brian, Jimmy. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's... If, if it's... If it's like a certain... Name, like... I think it would be kind of funny. But yeah, Bonza, you better you better come up with a good name for an apple if you get this right. 
if you get it right. If you're close, even if you're one off, I won't give it to you. I won't. But if you are spot on, you got it. Hot takes nicknames are stupid in Pokemon. Okay, well, that's just rude. Why would you? I wouldn't say it's stupid. But that, you know, everybody has their own, has their own thing. It's supposed to be like naming a pet, right? It's supposed, and in, and in Nuzlocke, it's supposed to help you uh, build a stronger bond with your Pokemon. So that it hurts more when you lose them. I'm trying to get Type Null to evolve. I don't even remember. Is that through happiness? Because that would suck. Ash would agree with you, Bonza. The anime never named their Pokemon. Not... That's not entirely true. Um, who is... Ash's like friend that also has a Pikachu. He he nicknamed his I don't remember what it's called. Actually. I, I do not remember, but he nicknamed his Pikachu. Some people nickname their Pokemon. No, if I get a dog, I'm naming it dog. Okay. Well, that's just that's I, I don't know. I feel like that's weird. I feel like that's worse. Why would you just name a dog dog? Your dog. John Richie named his Pikachu Sparky. That's true. That's what it was. Yeah, Richie named his Pikachu Sparky. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, it's definitely happened. Definitely. At least, at least once. Have you ever gotten a wronged shiny? What does... What, what does that mean? What do you mean by wronged? How can you get a wrong shiny? Like... Like a shiny that's not colored the way it's supposed to be? I don't think I've ever seen that. I would be concerned if that happened. I searched up to the Pokemon anime nickname their Pokemon and said related searches is Ash Ketchum. Okay. That's that's weird. Articles are will take anything and then just like change it. I don't I don't see how that's relevant to what you searched at all. I was hoping if I guessed the encounters correctly that everyone would buy Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> I don't know. Why would I do that? Bonza, is this, is this how it's going to be, man? Is this going to be another, like, Vanguard thing? You're just itching so bad to play Modern Warfare 2. You just want everybody to play it. No, like a shiny that you're not trying to get. Uh oh, I almost ran again. That would be terrible. Um I'm trying to think. I've definitely had just like straight up random encounters. I've had lots of just like random shinies where I wasn't hunting at all. Um I don't think I've ever had a hunt where I was looking for something and then got something different. Joe, do you really think I'm going to guess it exactly? No, absolutely not. Also, I need to check my decks to make sure that my encounters are, are correct. Are correct. Okay. 
just for the record because i say it every time it's plus two to whatever the dex is because i've accidentally run from two encounters don't ask it's very dumb i get lost in thought and then i just kind of autopilot so make the bet <sighs> okay not everyone i can't i can't involve everyone in this bet if you guess 419 exactly we won't we won't nickname the applin but i'll i'll get modern warfare too even though it will be a terrible experience and i will hate all of it all of the time you know that i never really like played the modern warfare series like black ops one and two were kind of like especially two was where it was at and that's like the only one i ever really played because you know we played a lot that's it applin number 374 i'm giving it luck it's just calling to you okay okay 374 that's coming up real soon um when we when we start coming up on that number in the count i'm gonna check again just to make sure that we're like the, the count is correct when we get to 374 got it bonza there needs to be a balance in betting if you get it right he buys modern warfare 2 if you don't you have to buy a switch no I, what, what first of all that's not balanced because there's there's a difference between like a sixty dollar game and like a two hundred three hundred dollar console. I don't know what switches are priced at. All right, I'm back. Hello, welcome back. That's not balanced at all. Yeah, no, I I agree. I agree. It's not balanced. I'm kind of thinking that it's pretty possible with all these Joltik and and whatnot that I'm running into that we could get a. A wrong shiny Pokemon. Whew. Okay, one more encounter and then I'm gonna like double check my Pokedex. Here we go. It's very balanced. Trust me, I work at Riot. Okay. Yeah, all right then. Uh, what happened when I left? Any luck? Nope. We're still here. We're chilling. Uh, I mean, I don't know if... But, okay, so he, uh, here's the thing about uh, this bet, Bonza. Like, I can't... We can't make it balanced because it's way more likely that you're wrong than if you're right. So if you being right means I, you know, get this game, right? I feel like the equivalent would be if you're wrong, it's more like you spend like a quarter or a dollar on something. Well, dang, at least I didn't miss it. That's true. You didn't miss the hype. You still have the opportunity. Whenever that may be. Hopefully during this stream. At some point, that'd be nice. We're closing in on two and a half hours. I'll give you five cents. Please don't. I would rather you not. Yes, I will turn down five cents. I feel like, oh, wait, was that 374? Oh, because it's plus two. Dude, imagine if this was it. If I had the count wrong and then we got into a next encounter and then it was shiny. Yeah, I think we're technically past it. I'll double check after this but it should be the pokedex should say 373 oh i was wrong what am i doing why did i do that 
373, yeah. All right, the next guest that's coming up is Bonza's at 419. I'm pretty sure if you tried to like give me five cents, 25 cents a dollar or whatnot, it would it would cost you more in tax to transfer it than it would be worth sending. So like. I think to keep it balanced is if you get it wrong, nothing happens. Or maybe you do me a small favor. I would accept that. I'm going to have to remember to uh, check the decks correctly before we get to 419 so that I can make sure the count is actually right this time. I'm very, I'm very bad about not keeping it correct. Five squid, take it or leave it. <laughs> Find small favor. I mean, I don't know, man. I'm not going to ask you to do something dumb. Or embarrassing. Build him a house. <laughs> yeah, a small favor. <laughs> if you could just give me a small loan of a million dollars, it'd be it'd be great, thanks. Once I'm uh is a man of his word though. He would send you five cents. He once sent me a dollar for shooting you in R6. <laughs> I don't know why he would do that. <laughs> Why pay up a dollar? Did it not cost m cost you more to send the dollar than the actual dollar itself? I'll give you five squats. Okay, that's that's fine, Lemon. If you want to do five squats, I wasn't having you bet anything on Bonza's behalf. But if that's what you want to do, then I'm not going to stop you. Be buy you season four of Pokemon on DVD. Uh... Sure. Why not? You realize, you realize, though, this is if you're wrong, which, again, is way more likely. I just want you to know that. You getting this number right is is the equivalent of you finding a shiny, which I will remind you has only ever been one time. So I just want you to take that into account when you make this bet. <laughs> I'm joking about that. What is season four anyways? I guess it's technically not Sinnoh, which is what I thought you meant. But it could also not be. Because I think the Orange Islands is technically its own season. So season four would be way sooner. Uh, let me catch up on stuff. Uh, if my prediction is wrong, I will get you a girlfriend. Don't ask how I acquire her. No, thank you. I just... There's a whole lot of jokes that I could make about you right now, John. <laughs> I just want you to know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to to hold back. Uh whenever it comes out. What are you wait, what are we talking about? New whenever it comes out? Are we talking about the season four thing? I don't understand. Uh can I have one too? <laughs> My boyfriend won't like it, but <laughs> This is called trafficking, people. That's not okay. Don't be that guy, lol. <laughs> I 
You cannot just acquire people. I might have a spare girlfriend somewhere. What are you talking about? Something sounded like it just crashed. I think uh, something in in the neighbor's place might have fallen over. A spare what? Huh? 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 Sorry, that was my best Steve Harvey impression. It's not very good. Uh, I I need to practice, but not right now. The life of a bisexual gamer is a tough one. <laughs> My boyfriend keeps asking to leave the attic, but I just got it soundproofed. Let me out! I've been stuck in here for 30 years. Well, depending on how much money you have. What? Hey, yo? <laughs> I've been so- uh, dude, I'm so distracted, I have no idea what number I'm on. This- this is why, this is why I can't keep the count correct. One, ah, ah, ah. Two, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Let's check. Let's find out. I'm actually spot on. Let's go. Maybe I am getting better at this. Maybe counting isn't that hard. It really honestly shouldn't be that hard, but multitasking is... I'm so bad at it. I'm just so absolutely terrible at, at multitasking. You considered the following. Stop the count. Uh, Joe, even when you're focused, you mess up the count. I mean, yeah, that's true. Oh, I also, speaking of not being focused, didn't even run into the, the patch of grass that was going. Boyfriend of a year and a half, and we're still in the honeymoon stage. That's nice. He wants to take me out, uh, but he just can't reach. Wait, I'm confused on where this is going. He can't read what? Getting out of the attic? Is this what we're talking about? We still have the number count. Hold on. Let me... Okay, you've corrected something. Good, shiny count. You should have the number, the shiny count for your number count. Yes. Problem. Okay, so problem with this. This is why my count is off. <sighs> my count, I feel like I should, to be accurate, uh, to be accurate, I should count all of the encounters, even if that means I ran away and my Pokedex says something else. I feel like that's fair. He can't reach the emergency phone. Somebody help him. I don't get it. <laughs> Who you calling a pinhead? You ate my chocolate. Now I'm gonna starve. 
feel like my Patrick impression is not that good. I feel like it was better at one point and I've just kind of fallen off. I, again, finding, if, so if I were to get, I, I'm going to be honest. Let me, let me try to organize my thoughts here. If I were to get a wrong shiny Pokemon, like something I'm not hunting for, this is probably the best time to do it because you have Joltik, you have Skorupi, um, Coughing is a pretty decent shiny. Uh, Machop is okay. Like, out of the pool of that I could get that would, you know, be the Pokemon that I'm not hunting for, it's a pretty good pool. I would take that. Big Meaty Claws! My impersonation is on point. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> watch watch the these words this text on a screen the perfect impersonation is mayonnaise an instrument my youtube keeps cr crashing oh <laughs> my my dark jokes were so bad youtube gave up on me <laughs> youtube was like hey yo not nah, nah, nah dude Nah, dude. Somebody grab, like, the cane and pull them out. You think I should Dynamax Raid Adventure Shiny Hunt? Um, I've had one successful... I've done some off-stream uh, Dynamax Adventures, and I did a full stream where I literally was just grinding out Dynamax Adventures, and I've only ever gotten one out of it. Supposedly, it's got really good odds, so I mean, I'd say, yeah, go for it. Especially if you still have legendaries to hunt, that'd be sick. I have no idea if I already hit the count or not. I have no idea. <laughs> Please, YouTube. Your Patrick voice is better than your singing voice? Yikes. Yeah, I voice crack one time. That's so rude. <laughs> someone tell it to stop well shouldn't they shouldn't we tell it to not stop because isn't that the problem is that it's stopping too much alec don't don't encourage him that's that's so mean <laughs> well go on bonza go on then why don't you sing why don't you sing give it a shot see what happens Go on then, and then he just blows me out of the water. <laughs> He's like, okay, all right then, and then just sings like an absolute angel. One voice crack canceled. <laughs> no, only if I was on Twitch, then I would be canceled for saying voice crack. I gave up <laughs> and booted up on Google Chrome. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's... If the app is, uh, is crapping out, I guess that is the alternative. Best browser. Certainly is. I'm not, an, I'm not an Apple fan. It's kind of ironic that this is, this conversation is happening now. Uh... But I think Safari is honestly probably the next step down from Google Chrome. And that's, uh, never mind, it's Twitter that was abusing me. <laughs> Dude, Twitter was doing the same thing to me. It was just, it was just playing stuff over stream yesterday. And then, and then when I was watching YouTube off stream, it just started doing its own thing in the background and I'm like why I didn't tell you to do that and it's loud why are videos on Twitter so much louder does anybody else notice that I feel like anytime I'm browsing Twitter on my phone I have to turn down the value volume volume 
to almost like zero because every video is just so loud. I don't know if it's just my phone or what. But I feel like Twitter is just unreasonably loud. Okay, watch. Perfect Ariana Grande voice. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess even if you could just like sing in a perfect Ariana Grande voice, I'd still be impressed. So I'd be like, damn, that sounds exactly like Ariana Grande. Even though I'm looking right at Bonza, I might doubt you at first. I'd be like, okay, where's the speaker? What's going on here? But if you prove me wrong, dude, I'm so good. I've gotten so good at counting easy Twitter set fire to my house true story oh no I hope I hope you let your boyfriend out of the attic before you know everything goes to crap Twitter won't do that sometimes it just sets fire to people's houses I thought that was Samsung wasn't that an issue with like Samsung phones just like setting themselves on fire that's fantastic ah good old lithium ion batteries gotta love them extremely hazardous but we use them in everything it's okay it's fine i just <laughs> left let out the worst goblin laugh <laughs> Elon Musk is in charge of Twitter now, so Elon set fire to your house. That's funny because Elon Musk is also in charge of lithium ion batteries. So I believe it. <laughs> I'm going to burn your house down with the lemons. I'm going to have my scientist engineer a lemon that burns your house down. Anybody else play Portal 2? Good game. It's a good game. <laughs> Didn't mean to send that. <laughs> it's all good. Elon Mush. That's funny. If you... If you make... If you draw Elon Musk in a bunch of mashed potatoes, is it Elon Mush or is it Elon Mash? It's going to change. It's going to. It's going. Vine is dead. I don't know if he can just become. He could just start owning Vine. I guess. I don't know if it's still like on the market. I don't know whoever bought up vine or if they just got rid of it completely i don't know what happened to that but sounds like a bad business deal i don't know why elon musk would try to buy up vine and tr challenge tiktok lithium ion batteries can't live without them and you may not be able to live with them it's true the musk spiracy is alive <laughs> lemons you say <laughs> <laughs> Lemons just running around setting people's houses on fire. <laughs> you haven't seen what I put on Discord. Like recently? Because I saw what you posted on Discord earlier and I was like, uh, why? <laughs> Someone call an exorcist. <laughs> for a lemon <laughs> oh my google is scaring me oh, okay ah <laughs> uh, yes big brother google it's opening and closing tabs oh oh my i mentioned in an alex stream musk did a poll on twitter and he's received an outstanding astounding yes for the revival of vine really that 
surprises me. I feel like... I don't know. I feel like if you tried to revive Vine, it would just die. Like, it would... It just wouldn't be able to stand up to what TikTok has become. I think I got hacked. Pray for me. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I hope it's not a hack. That would be quite bad. Panda antivirus has failed me. <laughs> I honestly don't even know, like, good antiviruses or, like, scanners for phones. Which I probably should not admit on stream, but, I mean, hopefully there's no way that somebody else can get into my phone unless I do something stupid. Who knows? Is this actually 400? Or did I get it wrong? I'm going to end up checking the Pokedex again. And then I'm going to be right. And then I'm going to be a little disappointed that I'm right because I keep checking my Pokedex for no reason. I think your boyfriend in the attic is trying to sab sabotage you by hacking into your PC. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Can't let him have any kind of technology up there. Uh, okay. Pokedex. I'll get the water spray bottle. <laughs> hey, hey, you! Stop it! I think Vine might be fine if it came back. Zoomer humor is based on just being loud for three seconds with lots of flashing lights. Perfect for Vine. Yeah, but why? Okay, but here's the thing. If TikTok already exists... How do you get people to move platforms? He would have to revive Vine and then also give it something else, right? I I feel like. I feel like he would not only have to revive Vine, but then also do something to make it better than it was before. I think just a straight up revival wouldn't work because you have to figure out a way to get people to move platforms found the file that's abusing me that's good i hope you can get rid of it Applin has a form where it's out of the apple what if it were to become an actual form it's definitely not going to happen but what would you think it's shiny would look like does the shiny not change i th i'm pretty sure <laughs> i am the hacker man <laughs> Uh, does the, doesn't, so for shiny Applin, isn't it just the apple that changes? It's not his actual, like, worm body. So I feel like, I feel like shiny Applin out of the apple would actually be kind of disappointing. It'd be, it'd be like, um, it'd be like Tokopi or Burmy, where it's just like a slight color change and nothing is really different other than the fact that it sparkles. Yeah, I, I think it would be kind of disappointing, actually. Uh, the military would finally allow some... The military would finally allow something like Vine. My account is off. Uh, with the guarantee that a Chinese company isn't spying on you. Yeah, but that's the thing. Then it's Elon Musk spying on you. That's definitely happening. I mean, he has money to do whatever he wants, so he will do something. If, okay, if he has the resources to bring back, I mean, he has the resources to make SpaceX and launch, launch ships and, and out into space. So probably if he has and is willing to use the resources to make Vine monetizable like youtube has found a way to make shorts monetizable i think that would be a driving force that would get people to move to vine if people could even if it was even if it was like not that much money for like millions of views i still think it would be 
more than what TikTok has going for it. So then maybe people would move. Um, maybe put Vine in his cars or something. <laughs> I mean, if you have an entire like computer in the dash, then yeah, you, you could put whatever app you want in a car. Actually, you got a point. His free speech policy would make Vine spit out <laughs> slurs 500% more often. I guess that's fair. Like, whereas YouTube is like way more strict with their language policy, I feel like um, I feel like Elon Musk and Vine would kind of go the other way to the point where maybe um, investors or like sponsors wouldn't want to get involved. That's that's the only thing. I think the reason why YouTube is is as strict as it is with its language policy and and its other policies for that matter is because it deters it deters like sponsors and investors and stuff. If anybody is willing to create a real life anime cat girl waifu Elon would be the guy to do it. Elon is the mad scientist. He would build a uh, rapture in like Bioshock, build an entire underwater city and be like, oh, yes, our scientists are free to do whatever they want down here because it's technically our own country and we have decided no rules. So scientists can do whatever they want. And then everything goes to chaos. Getting closer to my pick. That's true. We are coming up on it. I need to double check. I need to be more consistent with checking the Pokedex to make sure that our, our count is correct. <clears throat> also, what the hell is this chat? I'm, I'm sorry, man. I don't know. We started springing into the whole uh, Elon Musk and Vine conversation. And I was talking about why, how Vine would be would have to like what vine would have to do in order to become more successful than tiktok because you you would have to get people to move platforms i don't think it's enough to just revive vine because people are already people don't like change unless you give them a good reason enough to change so even if vine came back people would stay on tiktok unless you made vine better <sighs> this file is gone the later the random extension it made i pray i am free Unlike my boyfriend. <laughs> well, I hope you at least are free. Apologies for crying over YouTube. It's all good. It's all good. Apology not accepted. To the granny. What the heck is a granny cage? I have no idea what's happening. Speaking of Bioshock, also good game. Kind of scared me as uh, even like a teenager. Like it was kind of like my first horror-esque vibe. It's definitely not a horror game, but the beginning of it is kind of creepy. So I was like, uh, I don't know about this. And then I played the rest of it. It was fine. Or merge Twitter and Vine together. Honestly, that might not be the worst thing in the world. I think as long as you have like good organization and you have like different tabs for things like a social because I've I've actually thought about this. I don't have the skill or the like the money to do it, but I think a platform would be extremely successful if you could have both social media and also, um, I don't know what you call Vine and TikTok, a short form content 
I, I think even YouTube, like if YouTube, mm, YouTube's social media aspect is like non-existent. You can still make posts and stuff that aren't videos and shorts and streams. But if they scaled that part up and made the social media aspect of, of it actually worthwhile, and then you had that on the same platform as all of the other stuff, I think that would be pretty successful. So I could see, I could see Twitter and Vine merging and actually being successful because you can do videos on, on Vine. So why wouldn't you be able to, or you can make videos on Twitter, so. I make you the art, you free me from the granny cage. <laughs> as soon as I receive delicious art. I don't, I don't know if I like calling things that are not edible delicious. It's, it seems kind of odd to me. I don't know, it's kind of funny. Release you from the cage of 100 grand. Oh, no. <laughs> Does the Majestic Josby have a Discord? No, I don't have a Discord for this channel. Um, I mean, I, I feel like I'm still kind of small for that, right? I mean, I think it, it, it could be good for, like building some sort of community. But I don't know. You don't eat art? No, I mean, no, not typically. <laughs> Unless you... I mean, some food is art though, right? Like, it's just that good. I don't think I've really eaten anything that I... recently that I would, like, deem art quality. I had oatmeal today. Does that count? Is oatmeal art? <laughs> Dang, I'll find a way to get to you one day, Joe's B. I have a Twitter, but I don't have a Discord. That's pretty much it. <laughs> that sounds way creepier than I meant. <laughs> it, it's okay. I didn't. I didn't take it in any kind of way. Don't make the same mistake as me on making a Discord too early. I guess that's fair. I don't know. Yeah, it just doesn't seem... Right. Maybe, maybe in the future. Maybe in the future. Just play Doki Doki and you'll be able to make a Discord in no time. People do like that game. It has a very dedicated fan base. Also, I was very sick when we played it. I can't tell if I heard thunder rumbling or whatnot. The skies are kind of gray today. It would not surprise me if it actually rained in real life. I have to check the Pokedex. I have no idea what number I'm on. I thought the Natu was the Avalon dude, imagine. <laughs> Whoops, that that's my bad. That's my bad. I ran into him. He's so he's so small in the grass. Stop hitting non apples. I'm sorry. <laughs> that sounded abusive. <laughs> I mean apples do also bruise. I tried to open my Pokedex right there, but I guess I guess I failed to to press X quickly enough? I, I don't know. Stop encountering non-apples. I will try. Beat them. <laughs> Beat all the non-apples. I'm almost out of moves, too, so I'm going to have to go reset. Which is a shame. Okay, we're actually at 408. Which is a shame. We're super close to Bonza's guest, but I'm gonna have to take a break to go reset and go heal up real quick. It's 
so you're saying there's a chance to find a shiny Ablin on, in real life. Alec, if you go to the, the store, they just sell them. You could just buy a shiny Ablin. They're all over the place. He's going to bruise all the apples. If you beat the apples, you can make apple, apple pie. Ah, apple, Appleton, Applin's evolution. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're going for Flapple, but that is also a possibility. We're going to be like right in selling apple bodies. <laughs> Apple body boots with the fur. <laughs> I like their play. <laughs> or, I would hope there isn't any worm in the apples. Yeah. They're like worm dragons. Because apparently that's what ap apple, uh, applin is. Make apple sauce. That's true. Add some for the taste. Basically selling Pokemon corpses. Oh. Which I mean, like, is kind of a Team Rocket thing to do. They totally try to buy Slowpoke Tails. Like, all the time. It's kind of messed up. That was, like, canon in-game. All of the like pearls and big pearls that you find throughout the game are just are just clam pearls without the clam. It's kind of messed up. Pokemon is a is a seriously messed up game if you think about it. And then you have Pokemon whose like whole lore is like kidnapping children, Drifloon, and Frillish. Canonically, in Pokemon, they eat Magikarps. Like they're going out of style. True. Oh, goodness. Do Slowpokes die in slow motion? <laughs> slow... You remember that... You remember the thing in the first movie? It's like the Pikachu short where it's literally just Slowpoke yawning and he goes on for like five minutes. Or all the seal teeth they would sell. True. They get their tails cut off in slow motion then just bleed out in slow motion. Okay, I'll stop making myself uncomfortable. I can't believe the Pokedex says that children eat, eat apple... What? I know he's fine, but I just keeping the thinking the poor apple. Does it actually say that? Wait, Le Lemon, did you bring this up at one point? Did I? I feel like this is shouldn't be as surprising as I think it is. Eating a sweep ap apple causes its evolution. A nectar is sent wafts from its body, luring in bug Pokemon preys on it. I wonder if Shield says something different, because sometimes the the Sometimes the differences in versions will have different dex entries as well. Da, 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 da. Body is covered in a sweet nectar. The skin on its back is especially yummy. Children used to have it as a snack. Bro, what? What? Why do they keep doing this? <laughs> I told you that. I'm sorry, Lemon. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's an apple. We eat, we eat apples. Apples and beninis. I'm sure it's in shield. It is. Yeah, that was the that was the shield entry. Okay, I'm going to go heal up and then I'm going to check my dex entry. Did I miss? Awesome. Great. Very last one, and I just miss. 
Lemon has been trying to tell you that for weeks now. I mean, I'm going to be honest. You guys could probably tell me the same thing next week, and I would have already forgotten. And be like, whoa, what? This is new information. <laughs> I've never heard this a day in my life. <laughs> I'm used to being ignored by Joe's B now. I just numb the pain. Bro, no, 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 no. It's, I don't ignore you. I just have the worst memory known to man. I'm going to heal up. Boy, your Pokemon took six HP a day. Okay, I'm not healing my HP. I'm healing my moves. I've run out of flying moves and I need to, I need to restock. I don't have any Lepa berries or ethers or anything. Okay, we're at four. Okay, it's cool. We got the count right. And then I immediately went back down to Apple. Clapples are literally like stink bombs to other Pokemon. They can't make friends. Oh. You would think that would be more like Stunky. Or. Or Garbodor or something like that. Why Flapple? I mean, I get it evolves with a tart apple, but I don't think that means that, you know, you can just not have friends. Actually, I gotta, I gotta go get my execute knocked out. Where are, where are all the birds? I mean, I guess that could work. I was kind of hoping for, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll find something else that can also deal a decent amount of damage. Oh, hello. Hello, good sir. How come you haven't seen the stuff I sent you, hmm, but Joe's B? I've been busy. It's only been like a couple days. I swear I'll get to it. Almost. Oh, you made me flinch though. Nice, nice. <laughs> Healing the PP. Uh, here's a Flapple Pokedex entry. If it stretches its neck, the strong aroma of its nectar pours out. The scent is so sickingly sweet that one whiff makes other Pokemon faint. Oh. <laughs> I just love that Nate that in game Applin quest. Which one? Wait, which Applin quest? Are you talking about the one where you like get the evolutionary item? I I did that earlier in the stream actually. I hadn't done it before. Well, I'd done it in a previous file, but I hadn't done it yet on this this file. <clears throat> Ignored. What do you mean? When Applin uh, gets eaten, the sky turns red. Mistrial horror, horror experience with screaming and crunching noise. Can confirm Lemon. He's a very busy man. Okay. All right. Let's make sure that I keep the count correct. Because we're only a couple encounters away from Bonza's guess. Didn't you guys play Rocket League yesterday? I mean, I don't know who played Rocket League yesterday, but it was, sure wasn't me. What did I do yesterday? Oh, I streamed. <laughs> Lemon, you know what I did yesterday. What are you talking about? Update the count. It is updated. I can't find why not in Bond's lie. Uh... Is this one of those things where you know where they are, you just can't get them? Like they're just not appearing? Look, 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 Bonza, look, Bonza. Wrong Pokemon, but look, Bonza. It's 413 plus two because we ran. Plus two encounters makes 415. We are correct on the count. You didn't stream yesterday. Lies. 
yesterday was Halloween and I and I uh shiny hunted for pumpkaboo for Halloween reasons and I didn't find it but it's okay I honestly didn't expect a fresh new shiny hunt to to be found within the first I think it went on for like four hours or something like that Hi, I'm here. Oh, Bonds lie. <laughs> this is awkward. Someone perhaps traded me and back with it. When's the next stream? It's probably not going to be tomorrow. Um, I am kind of playing my streams uh, by ear. Yeah, where is this grass? Can confirm he did stream yesterday. True. I did, I promise. One away, Bonza. Uh, I'm kind of playing my streams by ear because I'm waiting on this weather. Like, basically, during my lunch break, I check, and if I've got the weather conditions correct, then then I'll do a stream. But really need them for my decks. I think I can. Oh, oh wait, no, this is perfect. Let me check. Let me check real quick. What are we at? 416, so my count is correct. We're at 418. The very next encounter is 419. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop here. I'll, uh, I'll do a quick trade just to keep Bonza sitting at the edge of his seat. S just especially for you, Bonza. I'm, I'm gonna be a nice person and help you trade. Just let me know what the link code is and, and I got you. I should have them. I should have them. Let me double check. I have like my living decks right here, so I should have everything. Here we go. <laughs> Not at 420. Nope. We're out. We're just about to hit 419. Okay, there's Bond's lie. Where is why not? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I got him. You just let me know. I don't even think Bonds is here. I don't even think he's paying attention right now. He doesn't even know. It's almost his turn. And he just doesn't know. <laughs> I'm in pain. <laughs> I'm sorry if this is causing pain for you. I was... It's, it's really more meant for Bonza, but if, if you're feeling the pain as well, I, I am sorry. You are caught in the crossfire with this one. I'm calling the police. Okay, am I about to get swatted? The FBI, open up! That'd be real awkward. Now you know my pain of being ignored. <laughs> I thought you said you didn't feel pain anymore. I thought I thought you were numb to it. Bonza not being there when he was needed. What's new? Rip. I've been here this whole time. Pray my house doesn't burn down from lemons. Oh, not you, Josby. You're safe. Okay, cool, cool, cool. For now. <laughs> I'm sure I'll do something to 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 deserve it at some point. Uh, is that 6363? Six, three, six, three? I don't have a parenthesis. I don't think. Wait, what does the R button do? Nothing. Oh, it, I can change things up here. I did not know that. Good to know. I'm going to go ahead and assume 6363. Six, three. Hopefully I'm right. That's what it was before. Lemons can burn down houses. Damn fruit, dangerous. It's true. Fruit's very dangerous. Your eight digit number has a parentheses. I think we have that figured out now. Though chat is a little bit delayed. So. We got it. We're in boys.
Oh, I was so confused for a second because I went to go trade Why Not and then I saw the Wobbuffet and I'm like, wait a minute. I didn't mean to. I, I wasn't trying to. I thought I messed up. Yeah, I can burst the houses down. I think with a, a, a lighter and enough gasoline, you could probably, anybody could light, anybody could burn a house down. Oh, wait. I should trade the other one first. Aha. Nice. Here. How about we go straight into this one? Yeah. Big brain. Oh, that fruity boy. Fruit is very dangerous. Seeing her on stream once was crazy. <laughs> now I'm scared again. <laughs> Especially when she's been drinking. Real crazy. Real crazy. <laughs> Okay, uh, that was Wobbuffet and the Bonds Lie, so, or not Wobbuffet, why not in the Bonds Lie? I'll have to move, the, move these guys back around, but for now it does not matter. Less of a fruit by the foot and more like Fruit by the mile, I assume. Wait, what? I, I'm kind of lost here. Are we talking about... Are we still talking about lemon burning houses down? And being dangerous. I kind of want fruit by the foot now. Not gonna lie. All right. Hope you can uh, finish out your decks pretty soon. Good luck. Good luck. I wish you the best of luck. My joke that bad? No, I'm just lost. Constantly, all the time about everything. Dude. The cherry on top. Went to go get the next encounter. Wasn't even an apple one. Love it. It's a pun. You would understand, Josby. I... I'm lost. Hold on. Looking back through... Looking back through... Uh... Thank you. I'm glad somebody understands me. <laughs> I want to understand. <laughs> I'm just dumb. Ah, 419, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Sorry, Bonza. You are wrong. Let's just hope I move fast enough that when the house burns down, uh, shattered the tip of my toe bone with a falling desk. Oh, God. Oh, I am so sorry. Should have spelt it fruit so it made more sense. Fair, I think. Don't worry, Josby puns are the worst. That's also true. No Modern Warfare 2, let's go! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> he was really, really hoping. See, this is how I know you care that much. <laughs> you really, really, really want that. I'm sorry, Wanda. Do you even have it yourself? Did you even end up picking it up yourself? Or are you waiting for other people to get it? I'll get my hamsters to carry you. Those are some strong hamsters. Them some Hamtaro hamsters. Oh. I don't I don't need to check. I know I got this. We're all good. 
I don't have to check again until what what was it at like 512? Can we even make that? Yeah, right. I don't think we could do it. We'll see. We'll see hamsters. Ah, uh, yes. Hamsters made out of ham. They're pure muscle. Oh. 512. Yes. Yes. So we'll... We'll see how quickly I can get... Um, we'll see how qu quickly I can get encounters. Um, if we get real, real lucky. If we're close... You know what? Screw it. Screw it. We'll just keep going until we hit 512. Why not? We'll hit 512. If you're right, cool. If you're wrong... Whoops. <laughs> I don't think it'll take like an hour to get another... Well, less than 100 encounters. I don't think it should. What was the Ammonite? What was that? I know I looked into it recently, but I've already forgotten. Ammonite came in at... 464. Okay. So this could possibly be a longer hunt than Ammonite. Very possible, very possible. Please don't leave at a non-cool number. Is How is 512 not cool? 512 is the coolest number. Joe, FYI, I sent you a video. Okay. I, what, are you expecting me to like look at it right now? Wouldn't that be a little unprofessional, Bonza? What am I, a, a, a React channel? I mean, I guess kind of. <sighs> Don't worry, Bonza, he'll ignore you. I got you. How do I check a Pokemon's happiness value? I think there is a lady. Uh... There should be someone in game that like says, oh, your Pokemon really likes you or your Pokemon really trusts you or blah, 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 blah. Like and based off of. Uh, based off of what she says, you can see you won't know like its exact happiness value, but it'll be like in a ballpark range. I don't know who it is in Sword and Shield. If you don't end with a zero or five, it's it's a crime. Okay. Okay. I won't end at 512. Oh, you sent me... Why did you send me a video on Messenger? Why? It's just not on Discord. Is that why? I look down at my phone because that's what I'm using for my counter and I just see a messenger bubble. I'm like, who the heck messaged me? Oh, that's you. Why? What was your first ever shiny? Mine was an Eevee in sword while trying to get Sylveon, but instead I got Espeon. Now I have a bond between Sakura, the shiny Eevee. Aww, I love shiny Espeon. I mean, all of the, almost, almost all of Eevee's shinies are really good, but Espeon is my favorite Eevee illusion. So I feel that. Um, Ending at a rounded number would be best. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Woo, that's what I've been waiting for. Too big on Discord, ah. Gotcha. Oh, it's not like a link. I see. Bonza's a bummer. I mean, boomer. I mean... Por que no los dos? 
<laughs> um, my first shiny to go back to a happy question. My first ever shiny was in Pokemon Sapphire. I was in like elementary school and I found a shiny tentacle. And I was like, oh, wow, this is this tentacle is really weird. It's got green bubbles on its head instead of red. And I caught it. And then I went to school the next day and like at lunch or whatever, I was talking with my friends. I was like, oh, yeah, I was playing Pokemon last night and I, I found this really weird tentacle that looks different. And my, all of my friends who had never seen like a shiny in game before were like, oh, you found a shiny Pokemon. I'm like, that's awesome. What is that? And I had no idea. That was back when it was like full odds. One in 8,000 some odd. My first shiny was, forgot the name, Flower Baby. I named him Bon. I still have him on my 3DS. <laughs> you named your first shiny Bon. <laughs> Uh, I thought you meant me. No, 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 no. The flower baby. Yeah, are we talking about bonsai? The little, the little uh, bonsai tree. Oh, flabebe. I think that's how you say it. I'm pretty sure there's a. A thing over one of the E's. I don't remember what they're called. An accent mark or something like that. <laughs> What's funny is my nickname is Bond. It's true. <laughs> I named it after you. Didn't even know who you were. But I totally did it. I mean, your walls. <laughs> Machop was my first shiny. Machop's a pretty decent shiny. I think because I'm an idiot, right? Because I'm an idiot. Back then, I would play through Pokemon games. And then uh, when I got bored with the file, I would just restart the file. Um, So I don't have that tentacle anymore. Because I didn't trade it in order to keep it. I just restarted the file. And so, um, I had a shiny tentacle was my first. I think Machop was actually my second playing through Sapphire again. I got a Geodude during a like Pearl playthrough. Um, in like the, the Orberg mines just before the first gym. I've lost all of those shinies. The really, okay. So, my only shiner in kind, uh, shiny encounter was a Parasect. That's true. I couldn't catch it because it was a Nuzlocke and we didn't get po Pokeballs yet. Yeah, your first shiny was before we even got Pokeballs. I'm so sorry. I've I've felt that experience. In, uh, in Heart Gold, I had a file where I found a shiny Pidgey before I had any Pokeballs. And I was like, no! What do I do? Can't I just pick him up? Can I just pick him up and carry him in my arms? Isn't that good enough? <laughs> Rip Parasect. <laughs> uh, imagine deleting your old files as a kid. Couldn't be me. Yeah. Made plenty of those mistakes. Then Joe would ban me to allow you talk. It's true. <laughs> DeBonzo will be fine. He's okay. He can watch quietly from the corner. Can't I just jump on him and grab it? True. I mean, apparently you can just like eat the skin off of Applin. Why can't you just capture a Pokemon in your hands? But, uh, so I think the, the best story, I do have, I do still have this one. 
um, the best story about that tentacle is not even technically that tentacle. It was after Omega Ruby came out, uh, my first shiny encounter in Omega Ruby was another tentacle. And so when I when I found him, I was like, he came back to me. And I still have that. I still have all of the shinies from from that file. Speaking of banning, banned Bonds on stream today with bloggers. Bonzo, what did you do to get banned? Is this the cool thing to do? Should I just ban Bonza because it's hip and happening? Most of my shinies are in Legends Arceus. I remember finding uh, a random full odd shiny dust docks. Dude, nice. <laughs> Bonza, run. What's my count at? I have not been paying attention. I just turned off my brain. Okay, I mean close, plus two, but close. No, it's not, you really shouldn't. I'm not gonna ban you for now. You're safe, you're all right. Everything's fine, Bonza. You just keep doing what you do. You're great. confess your sins do i need to have like what what is it called i need to i need to become like the priest or the father or what whatever and just put like uh put like a thing over over my webcam and just be like it's okay bonza you can come to me confess your sins then Bonds is gonna tell me some really weird stuff. And I'm just gonna have to be like, okay, I mean, that's still kind of weird, but you know, I guess you're forgiven or whatever. That Twitch clip of you failing the very last note of the song. How are you using this as blackmail or are you saying that's your sin? Because I don't understand how that works at all. You think an apple can burn your house down? <laughs> I mean, sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> if you were to somehow figure out how to engineer an apple, sure. Why not? Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> Confess your sins to Papa Jesus. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't think there's a good way to say that. That's not weird. I don't like the sound of Papa Josby. I don't really like the, 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 the phrasing of Father Josby and definitely not Daddy Josby. A hundred percent not the last one. You've been forgiven. May the poggers be with you. What is this, Star Wars? Like a really cringy Star Wars? <laughs> Florida man could engineer an apple that burns his houses down. May your L's be plenty and your bitches be few. <sighs> I can't wait for him to come out with the next video on uh on Elden Ring. I haven't even played that game, but I love that dude's videos. Wait, what? Wait, whoa, whoa. What's his name? I don't think I ever, since since you showed me all the videos, I don't think I've ever actually been to his channel. Give me give me a channel name. I'm going to go sub. Give me a channel name. And I'm specifically talking to Alec. Don't, don't just throw out random channel names. I'm not going <laughs> to... Star Wars, but the lightsabers are unique meme sounds. <laughs> Oh, what's a what would be a really good example of that? All right, I gotta go. Adios, bye, Bonza. Okay, now we now we ban him. Maxor, boom, done. 
his okay so his last thing was uh ultra kill sick that was like three weeks ago so in a couple months elden ring maybe unless he does a, a different video on something else <laughs> Middle finger. <laughs> just flip me the bird. He actually just teased his next part to Ultra Kill. Ooh, nice. Watame makes a cameo in there somewhere. The heck? I mean, clearly from his previous edits, he is a uh, a VTuber fan. So that I guess that shouldn't be too surprising. But I know nothing. I know nothing about Ultra Kill, so I'm assuming it has something to do with sheep. I don't know. My Urshifu is so close to leveling up, but we just get absolutely no experience for this thing. I'm an adult with a bedtime and I'm supposed to be sleeping. I also have a bedtime. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't have to be gone just yet. <laughs> but the apples draw me in. It's like we're so close, but also we could also not be close at all. That's like the whole thing with shiny hunting, right? You never know when it's going to actually hit. It could be the next encounter. It could be the next 2,000 encounters. It could be the next 10,000 encounters. Who knows? Who knows? If you need to sleep, ah, it's fine, you know? I'm, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we probably won't... I'm thinking we probably won't get to... We probably won't find it today. I, I, I'm, I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. I don't think we're going to get the shiny apple in today. I'll stay for 450 at least. Okay. Okay. You know what? Deal. Deal. We'll shake on it. I think that looks convincing enough. It's hard to do gestures when you have a camera so close in. That's kind of my fault, though. I'm a rule breaker. <laughs> oh, yeah. I stayed up past my bedtime to watch a Pokemon shiny hunt. Oh, yeah. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. The only thing I know about Ultra Kill is that it's it's a carpal tunnel simulator. <laughs> if it goes that long. I mean, hopefully it doesn't go that long, but, you know, it probably will. Probably will. Let me shove my hand through this crook. Just break your phone. <laughs> as soon as I clicked it, as soon as I clicked it, I, oh man. I did it again. I ran. It still counts, though, but now we're at plus three instead of plus two because I'm dumb. I actually just nearly unplugged my PC by accident. Well, don't do that. Life flash before my eyes. Do, Im imagine. Imagine you actually unplugged it and then we found the shiny. <laughs> that would be crazy. Be like the worst luck ever. Okay, we're at plus three, right? We're at plus three. So, why are we on Spritzy? Okay. You know what I should do? I should put the count to the count of the Pokedex 
and then just put some more text right next to the count that says plus three. Why, why don't I do that? Why, why am I so dumb? That would save me so much hassle. I'm wondering what an apple crisp apple would look like. <laughs> oh no. My favorite line is the opening. Oh my gosh, this thing is a ways away. Favorite line is the opening line to this ultra kill video. Swiggity swiggity, I'm inside your walls. It's like all robotic and stuff. <laughs> I would cry. Well, I mean, at least there's the VOD. I guess. And let's be real, as after I find it, I'll probably just cut up, like, cut a clip out of the out of the VOD and then do a slight bit editing, but not really all that much, and then upload it as a short anyway. So you'd miss it live. That would suck. But I mean, like, if you wanted to actually see it, it would still be there. We're close. I'm gonna have to... I didn't mess up the count already, did I? I know we're at plus three now. I feel like I missed one, though. That whole conversation on bruised apples. You can make apple and cider with that. <laughs> oh, no. It would just be like a red, redder cider. I like your channel. Also, your vids are great, and I hope uh, you get the green apple soon. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I'm glad that you like the content. Okay. Yes. Pokedex entry is 444. Four, four, plus 3 because we've run from a couple because I'm dumb. But yeah. Uh, best put a picture of a juicy apple on it if I miss it. Wait, what? Wait, what? What, 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 what? Put a picture of a juicy apple on it if I miss it. I need apple and vodka. <laughs> Let's not turn the apple into things. <laughs> it just, it just, it always sounds inhumane. It sounds wrong. Granny Smith. They are just Granny Smith apples. I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty sure I said this the last time I started this hunt. I'm not a fan of Granny Smith apples. I, uh, I've actually found that I care less and less for like the more sour or like tart apples. And I much, I much prefer just like a red delicious. It's nice. I love the confusion in your eyes. <laughs> Do you want me to be confused? It's not humane if it tastes good. I, I don't think that's how that works. I think there, there are lots of things that are still inhumane, even though they taste good. See, see, that's where you're wrong. Granny Smith is way better. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I gotta say, I'm not as much of a fan. If we were to make apple and crisp, what would we do with the worm? Put them in the mix? I mean, no, I, do you normally eat worms in crisps? Cranny Smiths are cooking apples. My Nana said it herself. You know what? That might be true. You using them wrong. That's fair. But some people just like eating straight 
Gurney Smith apples. And I, I just, I'm not as much of a fan. I just don't like that. But yeah, if you put it in something, I guess that would be better. I really like apple pie, but I don't know if you really use green apples for that. Do you? I thought those were just, just protein in it. <laughs> why, why do you want to eat the worms? I mean, if it's, if you're like making an apple and vodka, I guess you could do what, uh, like tequila does. You just put the, put the worm, just put the worm in the booze and shake it all up. It's just like eating pure flour. Uno reverse applin is now a worm with an apple inside of him. A worm with an apple inside of him. <laughs> Does that change this typing at all? Instead of grass dragon, just make some dragon grass. That doesn't change anything. Please no. Back in my day, the worms are a delicacy. <laughs> yes, when I was digging up worms in a sandbox. <laughs> Drunk worms. Worm vodka. Ooh boy. Ooh boy. Yummy. Well, howdy how? That'd be so weird if I got the shiny right that I would have to clip it and be like, oh boy, what the heck was I saying during that? I have that thought constantly. Like, what if I'm talking about the weirdest crap when I run into a shiny and that is just forever the clip? He became a tapeworm? Oh no. Oh, good God. There are people in need. They need food. Give them worms. <laughs> I forgot how to spell, uh, nutritious. There you go. I don't think that's it. Is it? It doesn't look right. It might honestly might be right and then just new tricious. Yeah, you got it. Imagine talking about Sweeney Todd and then getting them. <laughs> Dude, that would have been so bad. <laughs> That would have been so bad. Full on talking about Sweeney Todd cutting people up and baking them into pies. And that's when I get the shiny. I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could clip that. I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> I'm so smart. Well, yeah, I mean, you got it. Honestly, you were only off by, like, swapping the U and S the first time around. I have so many moments where I'll spell a word or I'll, I'll read a word that is spelled correctly and I'll be like, that just doesn't look right. That just doesn't look like that. That is how that is supposed to be spelled. Where are we at? Mm. All right, Alec. 
I'm pushing it a little bit, but I'll continue for 512. Well, we can stop at like 515. How about that? How does that sound? Imagine that bird of yours sat on your shoulder. Her claws look like sharp pieces of chalk. <laughs> Are you talking about Corviknight? How heavy do you think Corviknight is? I understand that it flies, but it's also a steel bird. So it can't be the lightest thing in the world either. I, I could only imagine that would hurt a lot. What if Applin was a pear? I present to you, Pearlin. I re I'm still, I still can't get over uh, John's comment earlier about the uh, pen pine Applin, Applin pin. I love it. I love it. If I could, if I could give Applin that entire name, I would do it. I would name an Applin Pen Pine Applin Applin Pen. Unfortunately, I do not think that it would fit. I ran into a Joltik. Gosh, I don't mean to take time out of your oh so busy day. I know how busy you are, which is very busy. Thank you for spending your precious time to appease me. That's how that reads in my head. I want you to know that when you say crap like that, I am reading as I'm reading it as like the most pretentious way possible. And that's why it irritates me. Maybe Raven is hollow. Maybe birds do have hollow bones. That's true. So do, di so do dinosaurs. I study them sick. You're cringe with the names, bro. Bruh. I can't fit the whole thing. I know dino names, but not Pokemon names. I I think it's Jurassic Park's fault, but being in love with Jurassic Park ever since I was a kid, I have I've, I've definitely been like a dinosaur kid where it's just like, ah, dinosaurs are so cool. I could not name all of the names, though. I could not even name, like, a lot of them. I know the general one. Well, good, because that's how it's meant to be read. <laughs> so you just want to irritate me. It feels like, it feels like you just want to irritate me. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I bet you, I bet I'm not. You're really, really, really good at that. You are really good at just saying the right things. And I'm just like, why? How big is a Velociraptor? This will determine how much I respect you. I mean... I don't know how tall it is. I mean, I think they're supposed to be like under human height, maybe like half the size of human. I'm I don't know. I think somewhere bigger than a microwave, maybe. Let's just play 20 questions. I'll get it eventually. <laughs> My job as a mod is to bully. It's Twitch's culture, at least. Well, I mean... Uh... Could you technically say... I'm not saying I want this, by the way. I should preface this. Would you technically... <laughs> you shall pass. Nice. Got it. They're definitely not as big as they make them out to be in the movies, but that's cool. That's fine. It's still cool. What do you mean ignored? Lemon, what did you say? 
You said cringe with the names. What do you mean? What? I'm and now I'm just confused. I think I'm off on my count. I will. I will see. I'll draw you a lemon dino. Lemon, I if if you said uh, anything other than your cringe with the names and ignored, I I literally don't even see it. I don't I don't know what I don't know what to tell you, buddy. <laughs> Why are you calling me Holy Joe? <laughs> Please don't. That's <laughs> I promise you, there is nothing holy about myself. He ignored my last message. What are you talking about? I would love to see a lemon dino. I mean, my fi favorite dinosaur is... Yeah, yeah, it's a velociraptor. It's got to be a velociraptor. I also like the plesiosaurs, but it has to be a raptor. Majestic. <laughs> Lord of the Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know about all that. I can't even get a decent speed run. Really? Uh, it's right before how big is a Velociraptor. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scroll up if, if it will let me. How big is a Velociraptor? How big is a Velociraptor? How big is a Velociraptor? It's, you said it's right before I see I'm I'm scrolled I'm scrolled up I see how big's a velociraptor this will determine how much I respect you right before that Alec uh no wait yes Alec said well good because that's how it's meant to be read that is what I see if it didn't show up I am sorry I do not know what to tell you I could prove it, I think. Can can I prove it? <laughs> Josby is a very busy and holy man. Alex, stop. <laughs> Why are you like this? Remember my name was Watermelon Dino. That's true, it was. At some point, I don't really... Was that, that was after, was it at some point after Lemon? I don't even know when exactly that was. You did use it, though, at some point in time. A, a great many year ago. Mine is stuck between... Uh... Corith Corythosaurus Therizinosaurus Spinosaurus Oh, Spinosaurus is cool too And Ceratosaurus My favorite dinosaur is Littlefoot Hey yo, YouTube hiding my messages Did you get Shadow Band Lemon? Lemon being bullied by YouTube Lemon, you got Shadow Band it was my kick name. Oh, that's true. Also Skype. That's also true. Just got a shiny Metang. Dude, sick. Are you doing the uh, Dynamax adventures? That's awesome. Dude, shiny Beldum, Metang, and Metagross are... Those are good shinies. Spinosaurus was my fave. They looked badass. Corey... 
Corith Corythosaurus. Cory in the house Saurus. He did it <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Alan Guy said the same thing. I thought about it and I I thought about it the first time I read it and I was just like said it might be your favorite. Maybe I shouldn't ruin this for you. <laughs> and he sent the hacker to me. You can't send the hacker if they're locked in the in the attic. Oh man, I'm not supposed to be fighting you. This is not the worst thing in the world. One time someone hacked my non-premium Spotify. <laughs> Started adding baby songs to his new rock and roll playlist. <laughs> he disappeared one day. <laughs> That's awesome. Dude, I think I have a similar story. I cannot remember for the life of me what it was. I think I got an email or something that was like, oh, somebody's trying to hack into your blah, blah, blah an account. And I'm like, but why? Why do you want this? Why do you want access to this? You don't get anything out of it. It doesn't really have any information because I'm not paying for anything on it. I just, I don't know why... I don't know. Hackers are weird. Oh, I'm actually at a plus one. I think at some point, the time changed over. And now things look kind of off just because the lighting is different. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> just accidentally waxed myself by dropping slime on my leg. I have so many questions like why slime? <laughs> Pokemon with the ability to levitate can't step on Legos. Ooh, that's true. That is. That is the best ability, isn't it? Dude, Legos are just like um, spikes and uh, stealth rock. You just throw them out on the field and it damages anything that enters. But like a lot. My free Spotify got hacked and I had a war with this dude where I inevitably just deleted the whole account. Now no one gets the free account. <laughs> Bro. That is petty and I love it. I'm an adult who can own and play with slime. Don't judge me. <laughs> fair, fair, fair enough, fair enough. Now I don't. In a patch, at least. <laughs> Judging. No. They are. I remember making a maze trying not to step on them. I'll never know what that one was. I'm just going to walk away because I have to go reset. We are at 468. <laughs> I have premium now, losers. <laughs> I think I had premium for a while, but I don't think I do anymore. Maybe I do. I don't know. What am I what what am I doing? I'm healing. Just running around in circles in the Pokemon Center. Everyone is like, this is the champion? What what? Aren't you supposed to act a little more dignified? <laughs> nope, I'm the champion. I do what I want. Okay, now I have to go find someone who will knock out my execute. Ring ring. All 
I'm pretty sure this is the last reset of the the last reset of the uh the stream. <clears throat> Should be at least. Your bear looks like my uncle. Bear? Oh, are we talking about Urshifu? <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking at this. I'm looking at the screen. I'm looking at my webcam. I was like, where? Where do you see the bear? Dude, would you just go ahead and attack me? Use an attacking move and knock me out. This thing has detect, tailwind, roost. Does it have an attacking move? I don't know Pokemon names. <laughs> There's probably Urshifu then. Okay, I'm going to charge up with Solar Beam. You better kill me. You're, are you gonna, you're gonna kill me, right? Why are you like this? Dude. I didn't miss one of its abilities, right? Tailwind, roost, detect. Has it used anything else? Do you not know an attacking move? You do. You have air slash. Why didn't you use that before? Okay. <laughs> okay, and then I can't get away. And you're probably thinking about Urshifu. He looks like your uncle. Is Does your uncle know martial arts? Uh, the fear that somewhere a bear is always watching you. <laughs> not, a, not a terry butter, nothing. Teddy bear, nothing. Like a big old, old brown bear. Unpheasant is unpleasant. This is true. This is sadder than watching Metapod view Metapod. <laughs> I'm literally just waiting for it to attack me and it just won't do it. <laughs> Unpheasant is like, no, I'm taking the pacifist route. I mean, it'll tech technically if you drain your PP, you'll struggle. Yeah, but I think eventually I would have to attack and then and then I would knock it out with struggle or no, no, no I would knock it out with like uproar and stuff. Extra sensory. My uncle knows the martial arts of throwing bread. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, since you do nothing but Pokemon content now. We're gonna smash our past Pokemon edition. Bro, why? Fun. <laughs> I don't. But why? That that was like a thing that happened and then and then ended like a while ago. I thought you were gonna say something like are we gonna like soul lock or something like that? But no, no, you said the worst option. Let me take part in that. <laughs> Low punny, just saying. I mean, they knew what they were doing when they made that Pokemon, let's be honest. I am actually at 470 now. It was meta for a while. Yeah, but like that meta ended. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. They definitely do make some Pokemon that's a little, like it's a little questionable that they want to make a, like a creature that has certain features.
Like, they definitely do certain things on, on purpose. And it's, uh, it's a little, little, little strange, a little weird. Because then they do this all this other thing where it's like, oh, Pokemon are like our pets. And it's like, Pfft. are they? I don't really want to know how you view your pets now. I feel like I should be concerned and so should PETA. Did you know Lopunny was censored by putting arms by its... You know what I mean. They completely took an animation away. I mean, they've, they've been doing this since Gen 1, right? They took an animation away from Nidoqueen in Pokemon Stadium for a reason. Because some, someone decided to put it in and then they're like, oh, this is a little... This is a little too, too much. And then they took it out. They had to censor poke, sense, censure, censor Pokemon Stadium back in the day. Imagine having to censor a rabbit. I mean. Also in Pokemon, you could legally marry a Pokemon at one point. Wait, what? When did they talk? When is that covered? I don't remember that. When does that happen? They've definitely done some really questionable things in this game. Or franchise in general, whether it's a, the games or the or the show or whatever. I mean, I would have these feelings if they didn't make me look, if they didn't make them look a certain way. <laughs> Gengar could get it. <laughs> Sorry, let me say that in BDG's voice. Gengar can get it. Lucario's a fan fave. It's true. We're just a couple steps away of, of, uh, oh, you like Pokemon? You must be a furry then. It's like, no, 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 I promise. It's not like that. We're just a couple steps away. They've already made some questionable decisions. I'm going to check to make sure that I'm on track. Even though I just checked not too while ago, I'm already off. So good thing I did that. Okay, we're closing in. We're closing in. Just a few more encounters to go. Yeah, I'm thinking we're just not going to get it today. I just don't think it's going to happen. But once we hit 500, I can no longer, I don't have to like attack it anymore. I could just encounter and run. Sinnoh Folk Story 3. There once were Pokemon that married people. There once were pe people who married Pokemon. This was a normal thing because long ago people in Pokemon were the same. What? What is Sinnoh Folk Story 3? A normal thing because long ago people and Pokemon were the same. I have so many questions. Ooh. 
Drew's pointing a gun at you saying you like Pokemon to name every single one. Can't even name my breakfast this morning. <laughs> yeah, that sounds kind of like Nintendo wants people to be freaky with Pokemon. You think that's why they're, they're called the Game Freak? <laughs> oh yeah, y'all are freaks. Y'all are freaks and you make games. Game Freak, let's go. There's a there's a company name right there. Is this canon? Is this a, an actual like canon thing? People That I don't I don't even know what to I don't know how to process this. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense, I guess. Because it's like, when people talk about animals, it's it's like, okay, well, yeah, but technically we are also animals. So what are, what are humans? All, are we all normal type? That's boring. I want to be a bug type. How do I make that happen? I want to evolve. There's someone that said if Pokemon and people could marry, does it make Team Rocket a thruple and I can stop? <laughs> oh my god. Victory Bell tries to eat James in, like, every episode. I feel like you should do a Nuzlocke. I have some ideas in mind for some Nuzlocke's. Are you trying to justify being a furry right now? No! I'm just saying, if I'm gonna be a Pokemon, I don't want to be a boring, normal-type human. That's like saying, oh, I want to play D&D, &D, but I'm going to be uh, a, a warrior human. Yeah. It's like, no, I want to be something cooler than that. Wait, is Pokemon racist where we keep Pokemon as slaves now? See, that's the thing, though, is like you have the whole Gen 5. You have all of Gen 5 where N is like, hey, I want to free Pokemon. They don't belong to anybody. And then they always make the, they always, always, always make the argument. We're not keeping them against their will. They want this. Joseph Furry. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, I guess there's no talking my way out of this situation, huh? We've just decided, and now it is now it is truth. I guess I know why Jesse keeps lick a tongue around. God damn it! Would Peter Parker be a bug type? Yes. That that's great because Spider Man is also my favorite superhero, so I'm totally cool with this. I want to say that some character actually had a Pokemon that was, like, in love with them. And I can't remember what it... what it was. We're a normal ground type. Sag. That is so sad. I... Mm, <laughs> one of the reasons why I absolutely... So I don't like Gen 6 for a lot of reasons. I especially don't like X and Y because in X and Y, they decided to do this thing where they would just take a type and then they would just add normal to it. And it's like, why do you want us to hate the Pokemon? I, I don't I don't understand why you would do that. You're just giving normal type to all of these Pokemon for absolutely no reason. Yes, it gives them an immunity to ghost now. 
but also gives them extra weaknesses for no reason and doesn't help them resist anything and is just all around bad. The only good... Well, I guess normal fairy is also pretty decent. But I want a normal ghost. Uh, I say ground type because we literally made mud into houses. That's fair. That is that is true. I could also see an argument for normal grass. Looks like Japanese and English folktale are different, but what are we talking about? Wait, what do you mean Japanese and English folktale? I thought we were talking about Sinnoh folktale, like from Pokemon. Sent you the link of whenever you get time to read it. Oh, oh God. Latias turned into human named Bianca and fell in love. Oh. That's not what I was talking about. I meant like somebody's partner Pokemon somewhere in the series fell in love with one of the main characters but honestly I forgot about that's a good movie too I forgot about that this that is a hundred percent accurate Isuian Zorark <laughs> am I a joke to you okay I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest I don't know anything about Hisuian Zorark I have not finished uh I have not finished uh da, 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 da what's the game's name? Legends Arceus. I never finished the game. I still have to go back and play it. Which I'm thinking I might eventually just start over and just play through the game on stream because everything I do is on stream now. I feel like if I just try to let myself play a single player game on my own, I will just eventually stop playing it. But stream kind of gives me a reason to like do things that I think I would otherwise um, not finish. The Suyan Zorark is normal ghost. Sick. I want that. I mean, that's got to be like God typing, right? I feel like normal ghost is like one of the best. It's got to be one of the best combinations of typing. All right, I got to go. No mods here now. Go wild chat. No, why would you say that? Oh, look, hey, John's here. <laughs> Woo. Uh, there was also a whole movie with Lucario. Yeah, but I don't think he like falls in love or anything like that, right? There's no like... I don't remember their bit. Honestly, did I even watch the Lucario movie? Or do I just not remember anything from it? I don't know. I don't remember anything weird with it. Sorry, I had a nap. I'm back now. Welcome back. Welcome back. Chikorita once had a thing for Ash. Fair. Which? Was that in Johto? That might be what I'm thinking of. Might be. Zorark is a glass cannon. That's fair. That is true. No, but he talked like a human and everything. Yeah, but Mewtwo talks like a human. And the whole war that went on. I mean, technically Mewtwo doesn't talk like a human because technically he doesn't talk. He just speaks through telepathy, but. Which is way cooler. Not gonna lie. Wait, Alex leaving? We haven't even gotten to 512 yet. Should I even go to 512 or should I stop at 500? If Alex gone, what's the point? Maybe I should do it 
Maybe I should get to, to 512 and then go to 515 and then stop. And then if he's right, I can hold it over him. Maybe. Lucario can't do that. You're right. He's not a psychic type. He can't use telepathy. Uh, Charizard can't burn ash because he's... Ash. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's technically true. Still talk somehow. Yeah, but also Meowth talks like a human. And that's been happening since like episode two or whenever Meowth comes in. I don't even remember. I think Team Rocket gets introduced in episode two. I don't remember. It's some, it's, it is really early though. I'm so wrong. I'm so absolutely off. There we go. Now everything is corrected. I bet the cannon to that in the show. Well, what do you mean? Because wouldn't it also be canon with Lucario? What do you... I don't know what you... I was trying to find the trainer and Pokemon you were talking about. Instead, I found a sugar ton of Pokemon X reader fanfic. I'm traumatized. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, well, I mean, I wasn't saying that you should look into it. <laughs> To be fair, but uh, you're welcome. Welcome. Sometimes, you know, everyone I feel like at some point in, in their life gets traumatized by fan fiction, and now, now is your turn. Mine, mine was Naruto fan fiction. It ha it happens. You just eventually stumble upon some fan fiction you wish you didn't see, and then. Your life is forever changed. Remember when Jesse and James dressed up as Team Rocket grunts to steal Pokemon from Team Rocket? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I actually don't remember this. That's like... That's like a... That, that's beautiful. I love that idea. Oh, nope. And I'm already wrong. I knew it. Mine was My Little Pony fanfiction. Alec can attest to that. Oh, God. You read fanfic? Oh, holy Joe. It, it was... It wasn't, well, I can't say it, was, it wasn't on purpose, but it wasn't for, I don't know how to, I can't explain this. <laughs> I have. Okay, but what about when Jesse and James wore bikinis, though? That's also true. That's another moment that changes you forever. Didn't they remove that from the show? Didn't they take it out of the English version? Or or all versions? I have no idea. Uh, the last time I read fanfiction was a couple years ago for Stardew Valley. Interesting. If you've watched the show and have almost cried at Bye Bye Butterfree, do you even have feelings? <laughs> Dude, I remember first watching uh, the first Pokemon movie when Ash goes to like sacrifice himself. I was, I was, I was still a child, yes, but I was still probably like maybe too old to to really cry at moments like that but 
I, I definitely like bawled my eyes out the first like several times that I watched it. <clears throat> Jake, Jake, James had fake poopas. Only English, I think. Sorry, I meant you haven't cried at the Bye Bye Butterfree. It is a really touching scene. And also, that episode made me think that Shiny Butterfree was pink. And I'm kind of disappointed that it's not. Never too cried old. Never too old to cry over that. Never too cry. <laughs> oh boy. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I've seen a lot of Joltik. Like a lot. Like I I'm I'm starting to think that maybe I should have been knocking out Joltiks as well. Because I could have been like bumping up my number battle. But I mean like, I don't know. If I want to do that, I'll just start up a Joltik hunt, I guess. But I'm not starting up any new hunts now. I gotta finish the ones that I have. I mean, he has pink feet. Close enough. I guess that's fair. Never to cry. When James had to let go of Chimeco. I don't remember that. I mean, Chimeco is Gen 3. And I didn't really watch a whole lot of Gen 3. Actually, the most I... The most I've watched of the series is Gen 4. <laughs> At least it's not in Cold Feet. Or his growl of... Oh, the growl at scene. Ah, oh, yeah. Man. James had to, like, say goodbye to a lot of... A lot of Pokemon. I mean, don't Jesse and James have to get, like, essentially get rid of or, like, start over with new Pokemon for every single generation? Trainer in Victory Road apparently claims his body is ready when you fight him. Oh, God. <laughs> Why? My body is ready. What are you? Oh, wait. Hold on. What? No. I'm just, I'm just going to go. I'm, I have better things to do. I'm, I'm sorry. I got to get through this. I got to go become the champion or something or literally anything else besides whatever it is that you're talking about. Ah, we're almost there. Almost to, to 500, and then we've maxed out our shiny chances. Sick. And then I'll just keep the count. I'll just keep the count going until... 515. Again, I should have just added the plus three. And then gone off the Pokedex entry. Because I keep running into the situation over and over and over again. Would have made life so much easier. Oh, there it goes. Bye bye. Nearly 500. Uh, you know, for a guy that's trying to steal Pokemon, he loses more Pokemon than stealing them. <laughs> that's fair. Pokemon is just like, oh, Pokemon aren't dangerous, yet Legends Arceus says not. That's true. I've died to several Pokemon in that game. If you didn't complete the first trial in Arceus, says you will be cast into the wild to your death. Bro. Kinda hyped, don't know why. 
kind of hype for 500 or kind of hype for also did i miss one already i feel like i didn't count the last applin and now i'm gonna have to check again Thank you, thank you. My Corviknight has almost gotten to level 100 off of this. I think we started around like level 70 or something. Okay, that is officially... That's 500 on my count. Three more battles and then we can stop purging this world of all of the Applins in existence. Yes, 500. We're almost there. I mean, technically we are here. Technically not. We're in a weird in-between state. At 5.03. Joltek. How's it going? Kind of not what I'm looking for, buddy. We're definitely going to hit 512 without Alec. Shame. One more, one more encounter. Let's max this out, shall we? I mean, I already know the answer to this. But I'm gonna double check, just, just you know, just because. So I'm worried, I guess. I don't know. The count is correct. We are at 4.99. I do not know where this patch of grass is. There it is. And it's a coughing. Hi, coughing been a while it does kind of suck that we're not gonna be able to get to the toxel hunt today i mean we're not even gonna finish it doesn't even feel like we're gonna finish the applin hunt so that's a very real possibility as well okay this is the last applin i have to battle So technically speaking, I could just do it. I could just keep battling them anyway, for whatever reason. Get the shiny on 512 just to mess with them more. <laughs> like, haha! You were right and you weren't even here for it. Do I keep battling them though? I don't really have to. But also, what happens if I mess up my count? What do I do? Do I keep going? This is 504, right? All the Joltics are making me remember my dead Galvantula Storm who died in a Nuzlocke at the final battle. Aw, <laughs> that sucks. But did you win, though? <laughs> Did he, did he die for a good reason? Nah, we don't got to. I'm sorry. We lost a, lost a, a dear friend, your Galvangela, who helped carry you through. I mean, hopefully you still won that. And you didn't just lose everything at the the final battle. <laughs> I did win, but at what cost? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna have to be extra diligent with my count.
but I don't have to fight him anymore. Dalva Galvanch has a sick Pokemon too. You're, I think you're pretty lucky just to have like got the Joltik encounter in a Nuzlocke. Wait, I have a question. Did I count this one already? I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> I said I need to be extra diligent with my count and then immediately forgot where I was. Oh well. I wish I could t turn off the whole like affection thing. I, I don't really want to know that you're thinking about camping. Not really what I'm here for right now. I smell apple pie. This must mean luck. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. It's just not very likely, I don't think. Thunderstorm in the wild area. Oh, like a you like a Nuzlocke in Sword and Shield. Dude, that's crazy. That's funny, because that's what I'm, that's how I'm finding all of them. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess they could be overworld spawns as well. I've definitely run into a couple overworld spawns. They are hiding in the, uh, hiding in the grass. Take your bird camping. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Apparently it wants to go camping really bad. So, do they just, like, say stuff like that, and then you just, like, set up the whole camp thing, and then, and then, like, play with them? Is that what the game is, like, egging me on to do? Because I'm kind of busy. I'm, Raven, we're kind of in, like, the middle of something else right now, I... I understand you want to go camping, but... Take your bird to camp... Take your bird to camp day. <laughs> It'd be so cool to be like a falconer or something like that. I will steal your bird if you don't. I'll, I'll, I'll take my bird camping. We're just, you know... Not right now. We're so, we're so close. We are so close. I'm gonna hit 512. And then we'll keep going till 515. And if we don't get it at 515, then I'm sorry. It didn't happen. We'll have to try again another time. They deserve it after working so hard. It's put in a lot of work. Got up to level 94 just off of this hunt. From like level 70 or something like that. I'd have to look back at the, the first VOD to see where, what exactly, like what level we started at. I've got time. Why not? Uh, oh, here we go. What level did we start at with this hunt? But I need to be careful. Cause I don't also I, I don't want to mess this up either. Okay, this is my first encounter of the hunt. What level was Raven back then? Oh, 
Oh, level 70 exactly is when we started this. So you've gone up 24 levels from level 70 to 94. Crazy. Love your content. Just subbed. Oh, you subbed and my, the, my alert didn't go off for you. I'm sorry. Thanks for thanks for subbing. I I wish, you know, everything popped up like it's supposed to. I have the alert box open, so I'm sorry. It, I'm sorry it didn't show on screen, but thank you. <laughs> it took you long. I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Okay, that's 512. At least I didn't hear anything. I don't know why it didn't go off. Is it is is something just messed up right now? Maybe maybe there's some sort of delay. I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to hell. I mean, uh <laughs> whatever family we call this. <laughs> All right, keep going till 515. We have two more encounters. It's not likely, but it's still possible. <laughs> Where lemons burn down houses. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> it's like no shiny on 512. It is true. It is true. Not this time. Arsons didn't even notice. Hmm? Wait, what, 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 what do you mean? Did I not notice something? Now I'm confused. Because apparently my chat is also not working. I don't know why things are. I mean, it seems to be working for the most part, but apparently I'm. Lemon stuff just wasn't popping up for me. That that's not to. That's. <laughs> I'm sorry if I've tricked anyone again. <laughs> My bad. He's being a sour apple. Yeah. Yep. 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 Back to the granny cage. When did lemon wear what? I don't know. What? I'm, I don't know. I'm just as confused as you are. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Well, it is unfortunate. You know what? What the heck? We'll keep going. I, I don't like the number 515. I would prefer it to be on 525 instead. Because at least that's like quarter. I go a little bit longer. A little bit longer. <laughs> Not the granny cage. <laughs> I'm everywhere and everyone at every time. Huh? <laughs> what? Oh, no. When you were saying, uh, when I said, was talking about lemon earlier, I was saying uh, sometimes apparently I'm just not seeing his messages. Even though chat seems to be working for the most part, there was that one time where, like, legitimately your message did not appear for me. Nature is the house of perfect weapons. Pine cones are hand grenades. <laughs> Come here, girly. Let me teach you how to knit. <laughs> Help me cut out these coupons. My sister has actually really been into couponing, which is weird. My younger sister is like, oh yeah, couponing is great. And I'm just like, I mean, I get it. You want to save money. I, I totally get that. 
Oh wait, this is 517, right? I live with my can <laughs> grandparents. I can't deal with more of them. <laughs> yeah. Like I loved my I loved my grandparents dearly, but sometimes sometimes they were kind of uh they had the they had their moments. Now for my Galar decks, I've caught 396 Pokemon in uh and seen 399 out of 400 sick dude you're four off you're almost there four more and i'm assuming one of those is the the jengmo and you get you get that plus oh wait no you said you got one in a trade right okay so just four more and you'll you'll be set you can go get your shiny charm i don't want any oatmeal raisin cookies right now take those oatmeal cookies and you like them <laughs> i don't like oat i don't like raisins i just don't like raisins in general i feel so i not only when i eat an oatmeal raisin cookie expecting chocolate chip not only do i feel lied to but i just don't like the taste i have tried i have really tried to like raisin and i just can't do it I learned that YouTube stream chats will block everyone from seeing messages with curse words in them. Probably other criteria as well. Oh. How did you figure that one out? I wonder. I mean, with how the world is, it's a good thing to do at a young age as well. <laughs> Lemon, stop cursing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> Uh, the one I haven't seen yet is type Null's evolved form. Okay, that's fair. Well, that's one of them. And that's just happiness, so. I mean, it's annoying, but it's nothing you can't do. I'm good. I'll go back home. Soul Valley. How do I reach these kids? Sometimes I put naughty words in my messages and every one of them you haven't read out loud. Oh. I see. <sighs> I guess that makes sense. So it's not my chat that's broken. Oh, Lemon, what did you say earlier that would have made me not read your message or have it not appear in general? I didn't... <laughs> Were you cursing in your message? I have two shiny type nulls. Lemon, why do you have two shiny type nulls? Ones I'm missing are uh, Behem, Litwick, Weavile, and Sylvalee. Oh, Weavile, you have to, like, there are, there's ways to get the Razor Claw, but I think it's also just a chance that it spawns in. Uh, like, on the ground somewhere in the wild area. But once you have that, you can just evolve them at night. Okay, that's 525. We've reached the new goal number. It's still nothing. So, unfortunately, with that, I will be calling it here. So. Dude, I don't know about y'all, but I had a really good time. This was really fun. Honestly, I know shiny hunting like isn't the most entertaining thing in the world But I had, a, I had a good time today Thank you so much. Thank you so much everyone for for coming by and, and stopping in and chatting with me Uh, isn't there a Weavile and Dynamax raid adventures? Oh, there might be Razor Claw and my 
uh, Galissa po pod is holding it. Ah, uh, okay. So you got one. Make sure no lemon burned on the house. Fun stream. I'll be back. Okay. Thank you for stopping by. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm probably going to eat something and then like go to bed and, and not, not too long from now. But thank you guys so much. I want to show as much appreciation as I can because like I said, this was super fun. I really appreciate everybody for stopping in. I'm sorry uh, if anyone subbed the, if the sub alert didn't go off for whatever reason. Um, I feel like sometimes that's really hit or miss and I need to kind of like figure out what the problem is with that and get it fixed. Um, but I guess it's just not working today for whatever reason. So sorry about that, but um, I'll be, well, we got to continue this shiny hunt in the future. And then, you know, if we can get a thunderstorm up over there on that hill, we got to do the Toxel hunt as well. And we'll have other streams going on. And uh, yeah, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, everyone. Art might sneak up on you. Okay, okay, okay. Watch your back. Okay, okay. I got you. I had a fun time. Good. I'm glad everyone had a good time. I, I would like... Even if we don't, you know, find the shiny and it's just like a kind of like monotonous hunt that it's still a still an entertaining stream. So 